All right. <clears throat> I had to set a timer on my phone. Why does my sock keep fucking like rolling on in itself? Look. You guys ever like put a goddamn sock on and then for some reason it just wants to keep going backwards? Like what the fuck, man? Like, that's so goddamn annoying. Like, Sock, please stop trying to... Sock is out here moving funny. That's what it's doing. <coughs> Alright, Persona 4 Golden. Yay, we're here. Wow, that was the weakest yay I've done in a while. Can you tell that I'm tired? I had to run and make a cup of coffee, and then I went to take a sip, and I burnt the shit out of myself. That was fucking amazing. That woke me up more than the damn coffee did. I was like, whoa. I'm gonna fucking hurt myself. I'm gonna be like that lady at fucking McDonald's and now I'm gonna sue myself. Get myself money. Mm, I like money. I like the sound of that. That's a promise. Alright, stop it. Stop replaying the intro. Cut it out. I don't want you to do that no more. I got tired of the song the first time I heard it. <laughs> That's a lie. Alright, Persona 4 Golden! Where the hell? I believe... This... Was it this one? Yes. I believe this was our save file that we used last time. Because we are pretty much in the end game. You know. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Alright. So this was our playthrough. Yeah? Yeah, Ishtar. There we go. And I actually want to see the character stats real quick. I was 80, 71, 70, 70. So 70 around the board and Riza 81. Oh boy! Isn't that interesting? So... Like I said multiple times in this playthrough, I've been running a playthrough in the background that I had to do twice. Because first one, I did to max out the social links. And I did it, totally. I believe I have that save attempt. I believe I have that attempt somewhere here. I think it might be number two. 1220. I think it's this one. Wait, no, I think this is the start of me doing this, yeah? No, it wasn't 1220. When the fuck? Where was it? Actually... Could it be the first one, maybe? No, it can't be the first one. Is it the first one? Let me see. Uh, yeah. It's the first one. <laughs> this is the one that I had that I did without a guide. And the problem with this one was that even though I maxed out social links, I didn't really get all the special personas. Which really sucked, right? And there's no time to do it because I only got two in game days left before, you know, we're done with talking to people. So, <coughs> me being the madman I am, I said, fuck it. Just do it again. Run it back. This time I'll use a guide. So, now our save file that we're going to be using is this one. Right? And I cut this one pretty goddamn close. Because Persona 4 might have the most annoying time restrictions for these goddamn characters and their social links. Right? And... <coughs> uh, maybe Persona 3 has a worse one, I'm not sure. I don't remember Persona... Uh, Persona why well, I keep saying it like that? I remember Persona 3 Max social link thing being that hard. It might be worse. 
No, I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it's worse than 4. 4 probably has it the worst. Especially with Golden with, like, the two new fucking social links they added, which is Adachi and Marie. And those having, like, hard-ass time limits on them. And Aries fucking thing being the most annoying thing to get through with. Right? So, cutting and close. Also, the fact that that guide I was using, it's kind of dog shit, man. Uh, there were multiple times where that shit just wasn't correct. <laughs> like, in one instance, it was like, okay, it's time for the summer festival. Make sure you invite Yumi out. And I was like, what? You mean Yukiko? And I'm looking at it, I'm like, no, you can't mean Yukiko, because I followed the guy. I don't even have her romance shit unlocked yet to do that. I only have Chie and Rize's, uh, ro uh, not even Rize's romance, just Chie's romance, right? And Rize is like a default option, just in case, you know, a game feels bad for you because nobody likes you. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to skip the text or whatever, right? Because I didn't save the day before for some reason. I had faith in that guide. And then I got no invites, and then I went to the shrine alone. And I was like, what the fuck, man? You can't be doing that shit. That's crazy. What? <laughs> Made me very sad. Very sad and thing. Everything was not Daijobu after that. Uh, multiple times, it would say, do certain things on certain dates. And fucking characters just wouldn't be available. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Right? And it was a Persona 4 Golden fucking, um, thing, guide, right? And I followed it as best as I can, and then towards the end, I just had to start fucking doing it myself. You know, because things just wasn't happening the way that the guide wanted it to happen, right? So, that was difficult, right? But hey, we got all that. And also with me doing that, I was like, let's make this a save file where I get every persona in the fucking compendium because I'm a crazy son of a bitch. And then after that, I thought I was going to do the quest line stuff to get like the costumes. Fucked up. I fucked up multiple times because I didn't think about it until like I got towards the end. I was like, wait a minute, I can be getting costumes while I'm doing this. <clears throat> and, um, and, you know, Kashiwagi's requirements for these costumes are kind of annoying, right? Some grinding and just like chasing down enemies. And then also it's a little RNG, right? Unless you have every fish with you at all times. The, the ghost lady at the shrine didn't want to fucking take any of the fish that I needed her to take. So I couldn't even do it. <laughs> That, and I just forgot to pat the fox on the head, right? I forgot I had to do that. So I didn't get the costumes I wanted. Also, uh, I wanna, I wanna throw a correction I had, I, I wanna make for this playthrough. Uh, I did say when you're chasing Adachi, make sure you finish it by the 24th, like stall it out until the 24th, cause it will automatically go to Christmas day. Uh, if, um, if you do do Adachi early, like that dungeon it goes automatically to the 23rd because the 23rd you'll get an invitation and on the 24th i believe is the actual like christmas event for characters because they spend the uh, christmas eve with you right so to spend christmas with the characters you want to beat adachi by the 22nd that also said that event is the only time you can get a costume for naoto which requires you to be romantically involved with Naoto beforehand um to beat Adachi's dungeon um <coughs> sorry I'm clearing my throat to beat Adachi's dungeon by the 22nd and also in her social link you have to be romantically involved with her but not only that on the 10th uh on the 10th rank up like the final one when she asks you how do you like the sound of her voice you're supposed to tell her that you prefer it lighter And then she goes, oh, so you like me acting more like a girl. All right, cool. Right? Which completely defeats the whole entire purpose of her social link, but whatever. And, <laughs> and 
and then you hang out with her at Christmas, and then you'll get the event where she goes like, hey, I have my schoolgirl uniform, you want to see me dress up in it? And it's like, okay, cool. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, what the hell, Persona? Why you gotta make it so difficult? Right? But whatever. It's not like I want to see now to in a schoolgirl uniform, okay? I just want... whatever. It doesn't... it's not like it mattered or anything. It's whatever. I'm not mad. You're mad. But with all that bullshit out the way, we, uh, we definitely, definitely, um, you know, are here to beat this game. <laughs> Alright. Gonna sell what I got. And it's old man Daidara over here. Same thing with my goddamn, uh, where are they? These. I wish there was a sell all button for this, but it's not. Oops. Get all this awesome shmoneys, put it in my pocket, so I can rock it. I'm sorry, what the fuck did that stone say that I just sold? What, did it say libido dite? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Alright, Sea Guardian, oh my god, that's worth 10,000 for real? You can just keep cashing those bastards. Make a lot of money off those guys. It's pretty easy. Um, I also want to head. I want to head over here to a to the store, Shiroku. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Shiroku. Snowing today, twenty percent discount. Thank you. Um, I'm actually gonna buy a couple of go homes because I used all mine. I definitely don't need 10, but, you know, I'm a crazy son of a bitch, and I've got dollar dollar bills for days. So I'm gonna use that. Uh, Balm of Life. This is a full restore. Revives, ally, and fully restores them. Yeah, might as well, just in case. Just in case some crazy shit happens, you know? Uh, Maka leaves. I... I have zero. Oh, on this playthrough, I have zero. I bought some on the other playthrough. On our fucking save file. Anabolic shell. 400. Just in case, uh, ointment, 200, don't need that, 100 to all allies. Uh, mouthwash, royal jelly, where is, isn't there one that cures all? Cure panic rage, sedative, stimulant, vanish ball, we don't need that no more. Uh, ice cubes and tesla coils, okay, well, let's pick up the panic fear and rage. Poison, exertion, silence. I don't think we're really gonna need this, but just get a couple of them, right? Just in case. Um, what else am I trying to do at the moment? I'm preparing. I'm preparing for our excursions into the darkness. You know. Also got our character's clothing, stuff like that. <laughs> Pay no mind to the choices that were made here. Let's just do that before you have a chance to see what those options were. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Teddy has blessed hands? What the fuck does that do? Increases effectiveness of healing spells by 50. Why isn't Yukiko rocking that? Yeah. Do I have another one? Let me see. Yukiko, what the fuck do you have? I know on this save file, I don't have Yosuke's, uh, what was it, Wind Vow or where the fuck? Reduces chance of silence. Sure, whatever. That's for Chie, Yosuke. I don't know what the fuck to give you, man. Increases electricity damage, reduces chance of saucers. Oh, this one prevents silence. Hold up. 
There we go. Yosuke, I'm gonna give you increases agility. Greatly raises evasion rate of ice attacks. Um, I guess I need to get some shit for Yosuke. I need to get some shit for everybody, really. Kanji, what I gave you power belt. The hell does power belt do? Plus two to strength. Uh, now until you can have that chakra stuff, I'm still using the paper ban, paper arm ban. But I think I also have the person present from now to increase his chances of status effects. Anime watch. Um, did I not get the stuff from from Nanako? That reduces like. Me getting hit by everything? I didn't. I didn't. I gotta go talk to Monaco. I think it's I think it might be too late though to pick that up. Huh. Alright. Oh also, what the hell are my stats? Oof! <laughs> Alright, uh one more thing before we actually start continuing, because I do have to change this actually put it back to everything uh retries and battles do not use in dungeons yes we're back actually you know what it'll just be easier to do this yeah. yay now we're back to what the hell we were doing before that's cool time to take our asses home oh wait it's Oh, damn, we got a couple of days left, actually. <laughs> Oops. Uh, hey, Yosuke. Yo! What's up, dude? Wanna go somewhere on our motorcycles? I mean, I don't have a reason or anything. Of course you don't. I feel like since I have one, I should put it to some use. There's just days like that, you know? Yeah, there is. Let's go to the Hot Springs. The Hot Springs? Isn't that kind of boring for a couple of high schoolers? <laughs> Although I have been pretty exhausted lately, so a little relaxation might do me some good. Alright then, in the hot springs it is. Yeah, Yosuke, not wrong about it. Two guys. <laughs> you know, two guys hanging out, going to the hot springs, watching each other's backs. You know, watching a movie, maybe getting dinner afterwards, kissing a little. Ain't nothing wrong about it. <laughs> Came here with Yosuke. Yeah, sitting really close there. <laughs> hey. I never been to the hot springs with a friend before. You know, that's all I am to you. I thought we were partners. <laughs> but I gotta say, it's not bad. You get to relax, taking the scenery together. <laughs> Though I gotta say that this is kind of more of something grandfathers do. You call them grandfathers, I call them great friends. You enjoyed the hot springs with Yosuke. Feel like time is right for an in-depth conversation with Yosuke. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the future, even though I have... <laughs> Nothing to talk about. Huh? So, Yosuke, you're gonna be at Junets for the rest of your life, yeah? Stuck in a dead-end job before you even get out there? <laughs> oh yeah, huh. I guess I kinda have an idea about what I wanna do. God, I really hope Yosuke doesn't get panic boost. Does it look like I fucking need panic boost? Does it look like I want that? Why do you think I want that game? Why do you think I want that? I, I don't have anything to use panic. <laughs> no. Nice try, Yosuke. You spent time with Yosuke until it got dark and then you went home. Yeah, it got real dark. I couldn't find my towel for a moment. You know, I started reaching. I thought Yosuke might have took it from me, so I reached over there. Oh, welcome home, big bro. It's great to be home, Nanako. Shopping. You bought shit from... Okay. Hey, you got something for me? Damn it. All right. I think in this playthrough, I told Nanako I didn't want to help her with her homework. I was like, no, I don't want to help you with your homework. Do it yourself. Alright, what do you got here, Nanako? Opens up the fridge, variety of food inside. Sure, why not? I got nothing else better to do in my life. Ingredients to make broiled fish. Alright, will I fuck it up this time? Let's see. Cut the ingredients into suitable sizes. Suitable? Suitable? Succulent? But how are you supposed to wrap the foil? Wrap it lightly. Wrap it and poke holes in it. Wrap it tightly. Poke holes in that bitch, right? Wrap it tightly. Wrap it lightly. 
put holes in it. The taste is bland and the ingredients start stay raw no matter how long you cook it. it doesn't smell edible at all, you decide to throw away. What the fuck is with me in this playthrough and just fucking up food? Huh? Like, I know how to cook. I do. <laughs> I worked at two restaurants, damn it. I know how to cook. I cook most of my meals. And everyone constantly, constantly praises me on it. To the point where I, I'm getting a little suspicious in this fucking house because every time I open the fridge now, there's always a piece of salmon just sitting there. And it's like, oh man, I wonder who's gonna cook this. <laughs> I'm just looking around, I'm like, is you want me do they want me to cook this? They keep buying the salmon. I think they keep expecting me to cook it for them. Alright. Kashwai. Oh, by the way, I want to point out something. Kashwai, what the fuck, man? Because me uh, doing this quest for her involves you having to give her some items that she wants to acquire. Items such as uh, animal slippers and and uh, cat paws. <laughs> She's like, "There's a matching set with this," and I, I heard I heard it's like gloves that kind of look like cat's paws. Can you get them for me? And she keeps handing you these risque costumes, and then you're just like, "What?" Like I I think you're I think low key you're out here helping Kashiwagi fucking get her freak on man and she's like hey you can you do me another favor Where, where'd you get this shit <laughs> all right uh what the hell can i even do today mm. bum, 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 bum. head to the rooftop hey chie wanna hang out i'm bored Ew, I'm beat. I actually listened in class today. Sitting next to you makes me want to work hard. Oh. Sitting next to you makes me hard. <laughs> too much? <laughs> Maybe a little too much. I hope you feel like working hard when you sit next to me too. Oh, damn. Oh, I feel like working something hard. You feel that your tight bond with Chie is irreplaceable. You can't, uh, you feel that you can't get any closer than you are now, but... Will you spend time with her? Yeah, sure, why not? I got nothing else better to do. Yeah, okay. You wanna go to your room again? Let's go! Of course you can, Chie. You're always invited. Show up on an ounce if you feel. This place makes me feel at home. It has your smell. <laughs> Alright. Last time I checked, I didn't play Smash Bros. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not saying you stink. I actually like it. Uh -oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I really love you. I love you. And then I don't say it back. <laughs> you passed a long time with you. Got a tight bond, so I'm feeling something tight. You know what it is. I can't. I can't exactly say what, but you know, it's there. Let me take a sip of my Welcome coffee. Back. For some reason, my nose feels, like, stuffy. But I don't want to, like, sniff all up in the mic, you know? Like I'm a goddamn animal. You ever put a microphone up to an animal? And you hear them just sniffing? And you're like, wow, that's weird. That's kind of cool, though. Hey, Dajima. Went to see Adachi, but that bastard refused to see me! Maybe he's already forgotten how tenacious I am. Then, this is gonna take a battle of wits. A uh, wits? My bad. A battle of wills. He said, I want to see that motherfucker Adachi. And he went like, I don't want to see that guy. <laughs> like, damn, Dojima. You must have you must have really felt super close to Adachi, dog. After all that shit. That's something that the anime, like, fucking tripled down on, right? From Teddy. Sensei movies. Oh. I don't want to go to movies, Teddy. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> uh, almost knocked the glasses off my face. All right, I don't want to go to movies, Teddy. I might sneeze again, actually. <coughs> Here we go. Hey, 
You remember falling asleep in bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Is this a dream? You think back on your memories with Marie. Hello. Hello. I apologize for interrupting your morning. I thought it would be best to inform you of my progress in search of Marie. I have located her. However, she's in the realm that is not of man. It will not be easy for you to set foot in that place. Please allow me just a little more time to make preparations. As I have said before, when I'm done, I shall come for you. <laughs> Margaret, when I'm done, I know I'm going to come for you. <laughs> it's too easy! Marie's whereabouts have been identified. You now need to wait until Margaret comes for you. I am at your beck and call, Margaret. Alrighty. Rize, you wanna hang out? I'm bored. Oh, senpai. Hi, Rize. I'm gonna learn everything about myself. I'll become stronger too, so I can accept all the bad things about me and not run away. Thank you, Senpai, for finding me. Let's hang out, Rize. Yeah, I actually wasn't holding back a little- Oh, I wasn't. I actually was holding back a little when I asked. <laughs> I'd like to go to your room. And then, could we cuddle again? That's what we are calling it? Okay. <laughs> Why does your room smell like a hint of coconut? <laughs> she was here. <laughs> I'm back. This is the only place we can relax together. Why well, you gotta say it like that? Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> but it's still kind of embarrassing, being alone together. So, I want to make you even happier and happier. You passed a long while with Rize. There's a lot of in your windows. <laughs> you feel that a tight bond. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Rize. This tight bond. So tight. Welcome back. We're so close together. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hey! Hey, you. I was thinking of taking Nanako out to Junaz. You wanna come along? A what? A word? For real? Let's go. I never did this before. Junaz Grocery Department. You came shopping with Nanako and Dojima. Every day's great at your Junaz. You gotta end the playthrough how you started it, baby. Nanako's enjoying herself. Did you want something, big bro? Go ahead and get whatever you want, but make it quick. You decided to purchase something that caught your eye. You spy a royal jelly. Oh, <gasps> shit. Dad, I need to go to the bathroom. Uh. Hmm, alright. I'll go with Nanako to the bathroom, so wait here with our things. You see Chie, Yukiko, and Rize a little ways away from you. They don't seem to notice you. You hear them talking to each other. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> this might be bad. Mm. Oh, oh no! <sighs> yeah. There's flyers for chocolates everywhere. <sighs> yeah. Hey, can I be honest with you guys? Hmm. <laughs> Instead of giving them away, I wish I could eat them. You think so too? Oh, me too. Whenever I flip through those catalogs, my mouth starts watering. That's right, huh? Totally. They look so delicious that I hate to give them away. Last year, when I was ordering chocolates to give to the staff, I bought like three just for myself. I clicked on the no gift wrap option and ordered away. I'm you saying. You think so too? You worked so hard last year. I say we reward ourselves. Oh god. Hmm. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid they're just gonna be like, so who are you giving it to? Um... <laughs> I might be giving it to you. They're giving it to you? Why? Well, we're going out. You're going out? Yeah, we're going out. I'm going out with them. You're going... You're not going out with them. I'm going out. Wait, how are you two going out with them? When I'm going out with them. 
<laughs> Why don't we take a step further and include Nato-kun? The four of us can exchange chocolates. Oh, that sounds great, too. Well, let's go browsing. The three happily leave. You wait for Nanako Go Dojima to return to the <laughs> to return, then the three of you go home happily. That is the first time I have ever seen that. Okay. I didn't know that existed. Class has ended for today. Your advanced exams will begin next week. Alright, who are we hanging out with again? We can take Teddy to the movies. Maybe he learned something crazy. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, let's let's see. Since he acts like way late into the game, and he doesn't really have uh, any like social link events, you know. So what fucking benefit is it to take Teddy to the movies? Let's see. I'm gonna invite Teddy. Hello. Hey, this is Teddy. On the movies with me, of course I'll go. Hmm, so I need to go to the movie theaters at Okina. See ya! Gotcha, I'll see you later. Don't get lost, Teddy. Jesus. I feel bad sitting Teddy on his own. It's like, don't get lost. Sorry to make you wait. But he did, to be fair, for someone new to the world, Teddy fucking made his way to Gekugan like real fucking fast. Hello, Sensei. Did you see my wild speed? I got here as fast as possible. Let's go! You and Teddy taking a movie together. There's gotta be some benefit to this. You felt as if you truly know what it means to be a bear of the sea after watching an anime tale about sailors. You enjoy watching a movie with Teddy. Something Teddy has changed. Level up? Is it just a level up? Okay. I cried like a river. That scene where he learns that a bear that gets seasick isn't really a bear. But merely just a cub. Just remembering it makes me cry. Let's come here again. It was so much sensei. fun. I'll be waiting for your next invitation. Oh, Teddy, you beautiful blonde, blue-eyed boy. Yo, Hitler. You're back. <laughs> just a little quick. Say hey. <laughs> all right. It's gotten quiet in this town again. Has been any cases at all. It might be boring for you young ones, but this is pretty nice too. I'm done with my schoolwork. My teacher said I don't need to do any more studying at home. Well, good for you, Nanako. Maybe we can find somebody to hang out with that night. Alright, here's Yumi. We're gonna ignore her like always. Eyes rocking it out here. Ko's out here. My dog is snoring his ass off at the current moment. Like, that shit is so fucking loud. <laughs> He's a small dog. Why are you so noisy? All right, I. What you doing out here? Talk to me. <laughs> oh, it's you. You startled me. I'm on my way home from shopping. I've finally done shopping for winter clothes. It's boring to just go. It's the end. It's almost the end of winter. You just started shopping for them. Okay. It's boring to just go home now. So spend more time with me if you're bored. <laughs> really? Uh, of course you do. You know... I never paid much attention to Valentine's Day. I never handmade chocolates or told anyone about my feel. Oh, by the way, since this is the save data for uh, all the social links out, I went for the harm route, right? So, I'm a, I'm a scumbag and I'm dating all the girls. But I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do it this year. I'm gonna do something big. I've already decided. You better prepare yourself. Hmm. I feel the same way. Empty promises, empty promises, empty promises. <laughs> Why are you getting all worried about this? All you have to do is receive. Though, I am happy that both of us feel the same way. Oh yeah, what kind of chocolate do you like? Milk? Dark? 
30 of uh, 30. Why did I say 30? 83 percent cacao, cacao, cacao. <laughs> what was that fucking tweet someone made? <laughs> Lightning McQueen out here looking for the kachissy. So, <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh, I wanted to give you something you really like. The kachissy. <laughs> Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh man, it's already this late. I wanted to talk to you more. Here, this is for you. Here. I take love this. marshmallow. Oh my god. Do you like it? I got it because I thought you'd be able to use it. Well, let's go home. Walk me part way, okay? See you again. You saw you saw eye off and you hit it home. Nice. Why am I so like congested? My nose feels so stuck. You know what? I'm actually gonna smell the steam of the coffee. Maybe I'll help. Get a little steam in there. I will say though, this coffee is dehydrating the fuck out of me. Oh my god. Like, I can feel it with every sip. It's from Yosuke. How's studying going? Everybody good? Ski trip next week, the 11. Two days, one night, all fun. I got us some rooms, you know, I got, hey, we got some rooms. <laughs> we can rent boards and clothes there. Let's race, let's race, wait, what? Oh, let's, let's race. Let's ace, let's ace our test and enjoy the last big event of the winter. Later. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. I love how I just walked out the door without thinking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not think at all. Maybe I should watch it, actually. What do you got for me, Tanaka? For the last day? Let's see. Got outfit and homunculus. Give me that fucking outfit, man. You know what I want. <coughs> oh god. Make it stop. Hi, Nanako. Going skiing? We started PE already, too. It's cold outside, but PE is tons of fun. They're making you do PE in the fucking snow? I guess, I guess you're doing it in the gymnasium. I hope you're doing it in the gymnasium. It's kind of a little crazy to start doing it in the snow. Alright. Um, Junez. Let's see, who's out here? Naoto's on her bike. Oh, I was kind of hoping that Yukiko would be out here. Haven't really done anything with Yukiko. Snowflakes falling on your face. It makes you feel a little horny. But that's okay, you're just weird Cause you're a little fucking freak <laughs> Alright Huh I mean, I can hang out with Naoto again, but Just going hot spring, nothing Nothing really interesting there Um, Junez At your Juness. Alright. No one's at Juness, Jesus. Is no one available on the final day? During the final days? Mm. The fuck? Huh. There's a kitten here. I did do some uh, side quests on the save file. Y Is that your kitten? Seems cat still hungers. Okay. <laughs> Wish I had some fish to give it. 
but it wouldn't really do much because it's the last day. There's really nowhere to go, huh? You know what? Fuck it. Let me just make sure. I actually want to grab all these outfits for myself. Detective costume. Yeah, it's for Nato. Yeah. 69. Haha. <laughs> no. That's everything? That's everything. Cool. Let's play it at the movies. Is it still the same movie? Call Yukiko. Hello? Hi, Yuki. A movie? That means I'll be in Okina, right? Yeah! Alright, don't fucking blow my eardrums out, Yukiko. God damn it, it's just a movie about a fucking bear. <laughs> Hope they're playing Sonic 2. I haven't watched that. I still haven't watched Sonic 1. <laughs> well, see ya. I should do that. A lot of movies I haven't watched, some of them I own. <laughs> <laughs> like Detective Sorry, Pikachu. I have that on fucking 4K. <laughs> I have the disc. And every time I just look at it, I was like, eh, not today. One of these days. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me today. Um, and this feels more serious than it did before. Don't look at me like that, Yukiko. You're making me feel things. You're melting my go. ice cold heart. Can you please stop using your persona on my heart? It hurts. <laughs> you feel as though you truly know what it means to be- Oh yeah, whatever, whatever the bear thing. Oh. I heard Sonic 2 was great, though. I really did. Because I heard Sonic 1 was okay, but I heard a lot of people really like Sonic 2. Gotta see the tech beat you. Got Ryan Reynolds? I know. It's, it's got Ryan Reynolds. Maybe they give him a CG mask. <laughs> We're gonna show your mouth shut. Whatever, just don't give me a CG mask. Don't make it CG. Alright, Yukiko, you learn anything? I highly doubt it. Okay. Hmm. Every time I thought something was hilarious, everyone else in the theater was totally silent. We should go again sometime. But I have fun today. I'd like to go again with you sometime. Well, you can't. Because that's the last day to hang out with people, Yukiko. Sonic 2 is definitely better than the first, but admittedly some of its lows are lower. Oh... Is the Lowe's just like all the annoying references Sonic makes? Does he floss at, a, at any point? <laughs> you know, all the references like, I'm Batman, Blue Justice. I gotta say, from what I've seen with the trailers and like a couple of handful of clips, I still don't like uh, the dude who's voicing Sonic. I just don't think it fits at all. Like... I mean, like, let's face it, I always wanted to punch Sonic in the face because he's a little smart Alec, but, like, this guy is just fucking annoying, honestly. <laughs> but they got Tails voice actor, right? Like, Tails legit voice actor? Reprising their role. And I hope each Zelda did great as Knuckles, I'm hoping. At any point, was there any rap music for Knuckles? Oh my god, please tell me there was rap music for Knuckles. Please tell me it took place in October, and then he came across a hill, and then all you hear is, we at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? <laughs> I ain't gonna let it get to me, I'm just gonna creep down to Pumpkin Hill, I got to find my lost peace. I know that is here, I sense it in my feet, the great emerald's power allows me to feel. <laughs> For some reason you dreamed that Dojima was chasing you. It was heart pounding, but, you, but your relationship with Dojima has intensified. Tails official voice actor. Yeah, that's what I heard. Which is great. It's like, did a, this, did the dude just not want to voice Sonic? Like, what, what's the whole deal with that? Why they choose some other guy? Because the other guy isn't even like a big Hollywood name. The most I know him from is like maybe a couple of movies, and um, I don't even remember his fucking name, his actual real name. Uh, he's from a couple of movies, but the most I really remember from is Parks and Rec. Good morning, you. I really like Yukiko's outfits in this game. Like, she's very stylish. 
The advancement exams start today. Did you remember to study for them? Fuck no. <laughs> I miss things like exams and schoolwork. This is just another sign of normal life slowly coming back. I'm with you there. Hmm. Everyone's been their old selves around town and at school too. The ski trip this weekend might be our last special outing. Let's ace those exams so we can focus on having fun on the trip. Don't know what's going on with Sega's voice casting. All actors are passionate about the roles. Holly doubt they simply don't want them to be. Oh, by the way, is I heard something about the whole Sonic thing. Nothing crazy, but is Ken Pinders trying to fucking sue them again? Is that motherfucker coming back with some bullshit? The word alpha comes from the word alpha and one other word, beta. Like all these fucking males in this classroom. You're all betas. Mega you, Chad. <laughs> That was the theory that the pyramids were built slaves disproven by attendance logs? Yes! Kim Penders? Never heard of him. Uh, P Penders is, uh... <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Alright. So... How do I say it? Not, not hardcore Sonic fans, but like, uh, I guess like more, I mean, if, if, if you're even like a little interested in like the Sonic comics and stuff like that, you know, Ken Pen I think his name is Ken Penders, right? His first name's Ken, right? I'm not crazy. Um, fucking, we all know Penders, right? That guy basically for a handful of time, uh, did the story and wrote, uh, you know, Sonic comics and stuff like that, adding a bunch of characters in the process, like the whole echidna race, uh, besides Knuckles, right? Knuckles wasn't his. And, uh, like, Charmy and Charmy's whole entire fucking family and all that other shit, like the extended Sonic bullshit, right? And then, Kim Penders left, uh, you know, the Sonic comics, probably on some ill terms, right? Um, you know, not favorable. Uh, not favorable positions and stuff like that. And to get back at them, he was like, Well, I'm gonna sue you for all the rights of these characters because I created them, right? And we all know that's not how shit works. Where it's like, fuck you, who cares if you created the characters? You created them while you were working for a different company, so they technically own the characters. But whatever, <laughs> right? And then, you know, at no point was it, was like any of it going in anyone's favor, but fucking, it just, it was just a long log suit that fucking lasts forever and ever and ever, and then it all, uh, it all got really annoying when Sonic and the Dark Brotherhood came out, and fucking, that's a shitty game for the DS, it's a shitty RPG by Bethesda, you know, and around that time, Sega, <sighs> It's stupid what Kim Penders was doing, but also Sega's doubly stupid because they didn't have any fucking like, like archived reports, reports, fuck reports. Basically, they didn't have any like, like uh, you know, I, I want to say evidence, but fucking it's not evidence. But you know what I mean. They they didn't have anything to prove their case either that they were going with, even though there should be you know nothing to prove, right? For some reason, they just didn't have that information on hand, so, you know, at some point, I believe Sega just said, fuck it, we're gonna settle, because this shit's taking forever, we're just gonna settle and never use these characters again, because it's just a pain in the ass to deal with, it's been going on for years, right? Uh, now that I mention it, you do remember that he was suing the franchise or something. Yeah, fucking... Basically, he was just suing the whole comic shit, because he's like, I made these characters, but... I mean, although a lot of people love the characters and the extended universe with, like, all the Echidna backstory and stuff like that, because that is kind of interesting, at the same time, Ken Penders was probably the fucking one of the worst comic, uh, you know, comic writers and artists for the Sonic series, because not only was his artwork just really fucking weird, but also his storylines were so fucking weird, too. Like, I remember one time, I think it was like on Twitter or something, but basically, one time he was all like, yeah, I wanted to make a story about Sally Acorn losing her virginity. It's like, what? Sh what the fuck? Dude. 
Shut up. <laughs> right? Like, like, if anyone was like a real big old furry, but just is afraid to say it, it's, def it's definitely Kim Penders. That guy is fucking losing his mind. Yeah. No one likes Kim Penders. He's a he's a he's a jackass. I mean, no one really liked him when he was writing the stuff, anyways. They liked the characters, but not him. What Drake means to bury demons? Uh, Toshi, Toshi, Toshi. Oh no! <laughs> kind of medical terms for brain freeze. I don't fucking know. Are you crazy? Uh. Watch it not be neuro neurocapillary construct uh, constriction, right? Watch it be this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oops. I fucked up that day of exams. Advancement exams, day three. What's Japanese zodiac equivalent to the cat? To the cat, it's the bunny rabbit, right? The bunny rabbit. It goes ribbity ribbity, hippity hoppity. Yeah, that's right. Bunnies go ribbit. <laughs> it could be the thermo one. Oh, whatever fuck it was, it's gone now. <laughs> I can't remember everything in this game, okay? <laughs> what colors were the pyramids when they were first built? They were white. What gets mixed with snow in Europe causes it red. The Sahara sand, the Sahara desert sand. There you go. We did it. We did it. Yay. Senpai. Morning, Senpai. What's up, Simpy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Today's the last day of exams. This week has been so stressful, but the ski trip's tomorrow. I can't wait to stay in, to stay the night with everyone. Say, how are you? How's your skiing? I haven't done any in a while, so I'm worried. It might be a little rusty. I'll teach you. Don't worry. Huh? You will? Hooray! Well, um, we'll be there for two days and one night, so there's plenty of skiing. Quote unquote skiing. That's what we call it. I call it skiing. <laughs> I'll take you up on that offer. It's the last day of exams. The last questions gave you a hard time. We feel you did well. Oh, fuck. That's not good. That means I didn't... I'm not first in the class. I mean, it doesn't matter because you get no benefits from this round of exams. Like, at all. You don't even... Uh, well, I think you do get to see the results. But it doesn't matter because you can't hang out with anybody. After this shit. You're back. Oh, yeah. A package came for you. It better have. Thanks, Dojima. Oh yeah, we're going. To, you're going to skiing tomorrow. You're staying the night, right? Don't worry about Nanako. I'll be home during the holidays too. Go ahead and have lots of fun with your friends. Are right, you going to stay the night on your ski trip? Teach me how to ski next time. All right. Take my ass to bed. You miss out on the jig giving you money. You can't even do that. Like. Literally on, um, like, after the exams, daily life part of Persona is gone. <laughs> of this game is gone. You don't get any more daily life stuff. I think those exams are literally just there to, like, you know, to simulate you being in high school and shit. First time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? <laughs> Senpai! You're too fast! <laughs> you gotta so open up your stance, do you get it? Come on. It's it's easier said than huh? <laughs> 
What the fuck, man? <laughs> Went snowboarding last January. It's not that easy. Oh, shit. Gee, such bullshit. You ski down the slopes a number of times during the times you're with your friends. I'm trying to plan a ski trip. What, a couple of buddies? This winter? We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. You know, saving up some money for that. I'm trying to plan that, and I'm trying to plan a trip for Japan next year. You know, what have went this year. I got the money to do it. But then this fucking, this little animal in my room. Urgh, I hate you, but I love you, but I hate you. But it's okay, in a couple of hours I gotta, gotta, you know, finish up this stream and take his ass to go, uh, to go get his surgery. <laughs> We've been down this slope a bunch of times. Oh wait, he said that already. Hey, <laughs> what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. I want to take up on a snowboarding while I'm there. I kind of pick up on things fast. You know, I, at least I was able to pick up on rollerblading pretty fast. And then I forget how to do it, but then the next time I go out to do it, I pick it up pretty fast again. It's like muscle memory for me. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. Damn, t uh, Kanji, you out here dripping? Dripping and dropping all over the place? It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nauchan. I'm completely against one on one personal lessons. You were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? Wow, Teddy, you're just the ultimate cock block. What the hell, man? So this was your first time skiing, Naoto-kun? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but... It's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction, or falling over without warning. I feel like skiing would be more difficult than snowboarding, right? Like with snowboarding, you just gotta, you know... I, I feel like snowboarding is all in the core, right? All that balance. I think that'll be pretty easy for me to do. But skiing, you gotta deal with both your legs and the fucking... And your positioning and just... How do you... Like, how do you turn? <laughs> I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. <laughs> and that's not from the lessons, huh, Rize? Yowza. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. Our oh, shit. Did I'm sorry, Yosuke. Notice it until now. I'm super hungry! What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I didn't mean to skip his dialogue. I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So, it's a non-style style? Yeah, what the fuck does that mean? They're like, ah, oh, we salt and peppered it and, and throw it on the fire. What is that supposed to taste like? Like garbage. I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean! I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling! And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. Thank you, Naoto. That's not true! It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was! And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now! So 
soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! You fucking animal. You goddamn beast. How much of a carnivore are you? She's like, that's not meat. Meat is meat. I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Schmeat. Everyone turns and looks at Teddy. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? Hey. <laughs> no, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I love how she, she's like, no, we won't do that. Not because you're my friend, just because it tastes like shit. <laughs> After dinner, everyone gathers in the lounge. Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was going to hold out in the bath until they showed up. Oh. What's he up to now? The fuck, Teddy? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Wow. Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed. So why don't we... Wow. Wow, Rize. What the fuck? <laughs> she just went for it. No. But I didn't suggest anything yet. Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then... Why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. Oh, I was thinking more like put your keys in a bowl. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Yeah, why the fuck you want to tell ghost stories? Just put in a fucking, put in a scary movie. <laughs> I love fucking watching horror movies with people. Oh my God. <laughs> huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. Yukiko, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor and just shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. Dude, this reminds me of like at my job or whatever since I work overnights. Fuck him. I mean, there's people at my job that's like, yeah, man, fuck. Well, first of all, a little too much information here. We did actually have someone pass away in the bathroom once. So, uh, there's that. But, um, completely unrelated to that. Fucking, there's like this, sh there's like this annoying thing where people are like, yeah, you know, this certain bathroom over here at night, there's like a, like, uh, it's haunted. There's a ghost of a little girl in there. And I'm like, the fuck are you talking? They're like, yeah, man, no, I heard it. And I'm like, dude, I'm in this fucking place by myself every goddamn night. What are you talking about? Shut up. <laughs> You're not making any sense. Like, yeah, there's fucking weird noises and shit. And when it gets foggy out, out at night, like, it's pretty fucking spooky. But, like, you know. And hearing the, hearing the sound of laughing children because the fucking, the, uh, the rides in the mall keep going off every fucking five seconds. But it's like, other than that, <laughs> other than all that creepy shit, it's like, it's not scary at all. Talking about a fucking ghost in the goddamn bathroom. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> They're like, no, man, I heard it. I'm like, how did you hear it when you don't even work here at night? Shut up. <laughs> You're an idiot. 
They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... I will say graveyards do fucking creep me out, though. <laughs> All right? I used to live next to a graveyard. <laughs> it was not... It was not fun at night being able to look out your window and just see tombstones for miles. You're scared, too? Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Me? I love them. Oh, so you got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? Oh, you're damn right I do. I can't believe you guys. I'm having no part of this. I'm plugging my ears. Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? All I know is I should plug my ears because if I don't, Che is going to fucking make him bleed. Shut up, Moranji. Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. Yosuke, that's just called apathy syndrome. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, Suddenly, his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! Yosuke, who told you this? This sounds, lot, this sounds very familiar. But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. Ah! Yosuke, that's just, that's just Persona 3, man. <laughs> one time, I played this game. It was called Persona 3. <laughs> That's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Shut up, Nato. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Eh. Well, you're next. It was all right. Mind? He's talking about Fuka from Persona 3. <laughs> All right, I got one. Okay, guys, this happened to me recently. You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. Oh, you damn right I am. You decide to tell them a story you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. Oh, trust me, Yosuke, it was. So? So? And then? All right, you woke up in a blue room. I mean, blue to the blues. Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. No, 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 listen. It's creepy. What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. 
can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. All right. And then there's a creepy man with a long nose. Whoa, that's freaky. Something about a nose that long? Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh, shit. Something just went past me. I told you I didn't want to do this. Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on. I can't take this anymore. Hurry. Uh, hang on. Where's the switch? How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you. What the Again? fuck, Teddy? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Huh? Babes, what's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? What? <laughs> the night goes on. And it goes on and on and on. I do, um, <laughs> on the note of scary stories, right? This one isn't a scary story, but like, I remember when, um, like, we all remember when P.T. was out on the PS4, right? An unplayable teaser for Silent Hill that will never exist, sadly, by Norman Reedus, featuring his baby fetus. Um, <laughs> like, I remember I was playing it, and one of the few times where I was like, you know what? I'll play with the whole family. So, I took the PS4, went in the living room, sat down, it was night, it was dark, like, really late at night, we were playing it. And, you know, it was creepy, of course. But for some reason, like, in the middle of playing it, just across the room, shit just started falling over. And I don't mean, like, something sitting high on a shelf or anything like that. I mean, like, we had, like, a fucking, like, a lamp, whatever. Like, one of those tall lamps. And it just, for no reason, it just decided, eh, I'm just gonna fall over. <laughs> and that shit hit the ground, it scared all of us. I was like, what the fuck, man? There's nothing there. <laughs> You decide to spend your time on the slopes until the sun sets. Alright! Time to hit the snow! Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Wow. Shut up. Who'd want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? Oof. I think I would. Just a little. You're just a perv. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Wait, what about my shape? It's fucking fine as fuck, girl. Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai! Hold it right there! R Rise-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much. Damn. Che switched up her gameplay. She said, I'm done. I'm done. I just slammed my fucking desk when I did that for, like, effect. It probably shook the microphone. She's like, I'm done. I'm tired of shit. I've been dealing with you for a whole year. <laughs> for a whole year. I'm going on the offensive. Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke-senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko-senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Wow. Hey, what are you getting at? Wow. <laughs> you just... Come on. So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with senpai yesterday. 
He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Oh my god. Come on, senpai. Let's go. You're so fucking manipulative. Like, Jesus. Her logic is 100% ironclad. Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Smooth, Nato. Oh, crap, you're right. You're right! I, I want to make memories with Senpai too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. What the fuck, Yosuke? Then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Stop, Rize. Why you gotta be like this? Seeing everyone stare <laughs> staring at you so hopefully hurts. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? That would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Woo! Thanks, man. <laughs> no prob. You've got a partner who understands your needs. <sighs> well, let's go enjoy the slopes. You made plans today. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you plan to make today as fun as well. Everyone's enjoying the slopes. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No, not at all. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in, or else you're gonna speed up. <laughs> yeah, keep freaking about it. Stop freaking about it, not to just open up your legs. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. But, but if I stand with my feet further apart, I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. Can you stop, Rize? Like, for I don't think she can stop herself. I think she has a problem. <laughs> you already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? Whoa. They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo-hoo! Those two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so... Shall we get going? Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Wow, Rize, you're fucking ruthless. She's doing this show on purpose. Don't worry. Someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Um... Right! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'll fucking catch all of you. Oh, you getting so fired up about. Yeah, how about that? I don't really that? see why you're so intense about this. If you're gonna catch me, then I'm gonna jump right into your arms. Um, I can trust you then? Well, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. You just need to ski straight. Yeah, Nato, you, you're skiing kind of different. 
you moving sideways? What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis! I think I'm going to walk. Times pass as you have fun on the slopes. The sun's gonna be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slopes? Woo! All right. Choices. I'm just taking a sip of my coffee. All right. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna let the Wheel of Fortune go. Of course, I'm gonna exclude the guys because honestly, their event just isn't as funny. <laughs> Like, it's cool, but it's definitely not as funny as the other four choices. Round and round, the options go. Where it stops, even I don't know. Alright. Gonna open my eyes in three, two, one. Yukiko. Alright. You decided to ask Yukiko to ski with you. You and Yukiko enjoyed your time together on the mountain. My legs are all wobbly. And that's not from the skiing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I don't think I ever chose Yukiko before. I definitely chose Chie and Aton Rize. Snowplowing all the time is pretty tiring. <laughs> so that's what we call it, snowplowing. Okay. I think doing downhill runs is really fun. When I'm just focused on skiing, I can forget about all these other things and empty my mind. Have I ever told you this before? I didn't really like my name Yukiko from the start. It means snow girl. Everyone gets this impression of quiet calm. Or something that melts away soon, that kind of image. But I don't hate it anymore. You and everyone else taught me. I like your name Yukiko. <laughs> snow is the reason why we can even go skiing today, right? I like snow. Everyone has different faces. They can look for a new face as well. That's how I think things are. This is the first time I've ever gone on a trip with friends and I'm having so much fun. We have to do this again. Man, let's just make it us next time. How about that? Yeah. You're right. I want to come here just with you too. Then, when we do, will you teach me how to ski slower too? I'll teach you how to do a lot of things slower. It might take a couple of minutes. <laughs> but just bombing down the hill is still the best. Oh yeah, definitely. Should we start heading back? It looks like it's about to start snowing again soon. Going fast is definitely the way to go. <laughs> it's like rollerblading, right? The faster you go, the more fun it feels. Oh, which way is it to the lodge? Uh, I think it should be right. You're not too sure either? Well, whichever way we go, we're not going to get lost. If we take the wrong way, we'll just take the lift back up. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. The snow is rapidly decreasing in visibility. You decide to somehow make your way to the lodge. You walk quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen. The snow seems to be coming down even harder. Is the lodge really this way? I don't remember passing through such a deserted place. <sighs> I hate to even think it, but could we be lost? Hey, are you okay? I'm thankful that you're walking ahead. But you have to be tired, too. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm pretty okay, so... Oh, no, maybe I'm not. The snow looks like a futon to me. Oh, no. Oh, don't you dare fall asleep. You cut that shit out. Right. I 
bet it'd feel nice if I laid down on the snow. Oh my god, you just you're just crazy. It looks soft. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Look, there's something over there. Isn't that a cottage? Maybe there's someone. Oh, I don't know if anyone's there. But if we can at least wait there until the blizzard calms down, let's go check it out. Excuse me. Is anyone there? There's no answer from inside. Wait. The door was unlocked, but there's no one inside. It's dark in here. I wonder why it wasn't locked. Still, I'm glad it wasn't. If we'd stayed out there, we might have been in serious danger. Yukiko looks anxious. You cold? Yeah, a little. But now that we're out of that terrible storm, I'll be okay. Hey, do you have your cell with you? I dropped mine in the snow a couple of times, so I don't want to risk turning it on until it dries. Dropped it in the snow a couple of times? Jesus. How fucked up are your pockets? You do have your cell. If there's a signal, you might be able to call for help. The screen reads no service. It seems there's no signal here. Well, that's useless. So much. I see. So much for modern it would be technology. Nice to get a message out to somebody, even if we are stuck here. Do you think the others are still skiing out in this weather? I wonder when the blizzard will calm down. Even though we're shielded from the worst of the snow and wind, we could be trapped here by the cold. Huh? The two of us? Alone? Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we don't know for sure that we'll be stuck here all night. I mean, would it be such a bad thing, though? I'm sure we'll be able to get in touch with Chie and the others at some point. That's why we'll be alright. Even if it's cold, we just need to warm each other until then. Whoa. Warm each other. Whoa. Sheesh, what am I saying? You're making sense, that's what you're saying. But truth be told, we do need a way to keep the cold away. Oh, there's a sunken hearth here. There may be something we can use to start a fire. Give me a second. At the end, we'd keep that stuff near here. You find old newspapers and some matches. After some effort, you manage to get the fire started in the hearth. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, now that I'm warming up, I'm starting to feel better. Um, we might as well do this to stay warm, right? Mm. I wonder where we are. We were walking for a while, so we must be pretty far into the mountains. I wonder if everyone's worried about us. This reminds me of the time that I was trapped in the TV world. Considering that I was rescued from that terrible situation, I have to stay strong and trust in my friends. And, well, I I'm not alone right now. When I'm with you, I'm not so worried about what's going to happen. Oh, um, I mean, uh, I... Did, did that TV over there turn on for a second? Why would it do that? I don't know. I'm gonna go take a look, though. Thanks, but I want to find out why, too. Wait, don't! You shouldn't do that now! This just isn't the place! Well, please, be careful. What are you guys doing? I won't allow it! Yosuke! Asshole! Such a fucking cockblock, man! Stop! You can't just give in to your passions! Eh? Shut the fuck up, Teddy. Teddy? Everybody! They're still dressed. 
Why wouldn't I pee? Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Do I really have to spell it out for you? Did you all come to rescue us? You know, I, I gotta say, if you guys had a hint that we were doing some business in here, why the fuck did you try to stop us? You guys are assholes. <laughs> all of you. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling that that isn't the case? Yuki-chan, were you waiting for an audience? What daring lovers! <laughs> How shameless! But, okay, I'll take a front row seat and... Wow. What, what are you talking about? Wait, were you waiting outside this whole time? No, we just got here, really, it's just... We didn't know exactly when to make our move. So you decided the best opportunity would be where, the, where a possibility of something was going down? You all just unanimously decided to fuck me over royally. That's so mean! So you were listening to us? Our lives were at stake, you know? No, no, we really did come because we were worried! Whatever, what were the two of you doing shoving each other around in here? Shut up, Rize. We were checking this TV. Why, what happened? Oh, come on! It was the TV! It's true! You're all misunderstanding things! Yeah, Yosuke, not everybody wants to die a virgin like you! <laughs> Everyone's staring at you in contempt. You desperately explained what happened just now. Huh. So, you got lost, found this building, and then things started heating up. Reze, you're not, you're not helping my situation. I can't believe this. We were so worried, and here you are sneaking behind our backs. Hey, we did nothing of the sort. I wish I did. The TV just turned on, and it's not even plugged in. That's why we had to check it out. And why would we come to a cottage out in the woods if we weren't lost? Uh, this place is right behind the lodge. Huh? It's a storage shed. They don't bother locking it when there's nothing inside. Yeah, it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. But there was a... Then why would the TV turn itself on? That whole case is over. Maybe you just saw a reflection from the ski lights or something. But... Then again, I don't think Yukiko would lie about something like that. You might as well check it out. Uh, hey, wait a sec. My. <laughs> Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. She's beautiful. Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? Oh, her? She's just my lover. Sweetheart? Dude, she is a real woman. Where the hell did you meet her? 
Did you ever heard about Swingers Night at the bar? <laughs> Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. And damn girl, them eyebrows are on point today. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Mm, well, can we trust her? Of course. I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. Oh, so about Marie? Yes, I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. You did ask to be taken to where Marie is. Is she here? This is the Hollow Forest. The closed realm, created by her in the TV world. The world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. So what you're saying is that she was living in my head rent-free. <laughs> Why would she do that? I do not know everything. But as you know, she was searching for her memory. And by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. Well, that's good, right? It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Oh, no, that's bad. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? Yeah, unlike that other fashionable girl- I mean, <laughs> not fashionable. Unlike that other girl with the hat that's not fashionable at all. <coughs> Nato. What do you mean, she's here? And what was that about her memory? Everyone's worried about Marie. Dude, I love how everything, including Marie, fucking, since you can do it before meeting Naoto, if Naoto's there, it changes nothing. Naoto just never says anything about it. <laughs> what should you do? I'll explain the situation. You explain that Marie has lost her memory and that she's currently missing. Emi-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here. Does that mean Marie-san has the Persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl were you showing around town? The ones that I find from Hot Topic? Hold on, this is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... Marie's in danger. He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. Damn, Nato, now that I got a good look at you, you out here dripping. If you are to proceed ahead and search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. You're out here being all soggy and wet and drip dropping all over the place. <laughs> in multiple ways. Huh. So is that why you brought these guys? The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. Not really, it's actually one of the easiest dungeons in the goddamn game. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but you are also like Marie-san, a resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? 
You didn't really answer the question, Margaret. Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. Alright, Kingdom Hearts, calm down. <laughs> we'll lose our memories? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? I won't forget. I understand your conviction, but the chances of that are quite low. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. Man, I guess we're lucky that we went on the ski trip and so lucky that, uh, you know, that the TV we need isn't somewhere across the fucking ocean. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. I don't give a damn what she wishes. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. And why do you say that, Nato? Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! That is a very small TV for all of us to fit through. Ow! Ugh, who was pushing me? Shut it. There's eight of us, and it's a tiny frickin' TV. Oh! I dented my head in. Anybody want to touch it? Ew. <laughs> uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up! We got a meeting to hold! We do? What are we going to talk about? Yeah, it's Jay. Oh, uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Shut up! That's rude, you know. Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait. So the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. Damn, guys. Sorry for keeping secrets. No, it couldn't have been helped. No, it actually could have. I'm just kind of a jackass like that. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. 
Yeah, kind of like how I can't easily explain that I'm cheating on you, what? It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Uh, her memory's the key? Let your heart yeah, be your guiding key? Yeah, did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Yes. Isn't that the same as dying? Yes. What? Wait, you mean sh she's trying to? Well, I did find her at Hot Topic. Anything can happen, Yosuke. I, I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. You know, at least I stopped her before she walked into Spencer's. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emmy-chan's like me. What? I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emmy-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy... The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? Well, I can't leave her there like that, right? Yeah, I think that too. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. And in the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. <laughs> Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that, then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Rise-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah, all right. It's super sniffy time together with Rise-chan. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Too much information, Ted. You. Hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. Wow. How rude. What do you mean, at least? Why is Teddy the one that got fucking mad at that? Let's regroup at school. Okay? Rize wasn't even phased by it. Oh my god, Rize's just too much. She's too powerful. She may not be able to fight, but she's too fucking powerful. According to Margaret, there isn't much time before the place closes. You must find Marie quickly, or you will never be able to see her again. I mean, that won't be so bad. <laughs> it will almost be like she never existed in the first place. <laughs> Persona 4. You're concerned about Marie, but you should. <laughs> You're concerned about Marie, but first you should get a grasp on the situation at hand. You know, firmly grasp it. You return to the lodge and pack your bags to return home. Firmly grasp it. Today you're supposed to discuss what happened yesterday. Hurry to school. Mm. 
Ugh, it's cold. Oh well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest and yet you went and did research. Yeah, now it's what the hell. But I went and checked the newspaper too. Damn it, Che, what the hell? I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers what the and fuck, customers Yukiko? if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife network. What the fuck is wrong with you people? We're supposed to be resting. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. What the hell, man? Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Risei-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The hollow forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow forest. We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? I was wondering the same thing. Amino Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marichan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? Hell? Who is she exactly? I don't know. That's what everybody asks when this game fucking started. <laughs> Who is that? Our objective is to save her. But it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Alright, we'll find her. Yeah, let's do it! Whoever she is, we're not letting her die like this. That's right! I'm burning up! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Everyone's hearts have come together. Wait a sec! If I come and save Emi-chan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. Teddy's like, come on, man, I'm just out here trying to get my dick wet. <laughs> you hurried to the mountain cabin to save Marie. Here we are. We can get to the Hollow Forest by entering the TV. Let's hurry up and jump in there then. This place is gonna get closed off soon, right? Yeah, that Margaret person said it was definitely gonna happen. I think still okay for today, but I can't sense it, but I can sense it get it further and further away. Wait, does that mean we have no idea what will happen tomorrow? That's quite likely. It was a completely different place until very recently. Since there's no guarantee that we'll be able to enter it tomorrow, we must do something about it today. Right, it'll be a bit tough, but we gotta do this. Come on, let's save Marie-chan today. All right, it's time for the Hollow Forest Dungeon. All right, let's go. That sounds way cooler than what it actually is. The Hollow Forest, in my opinion, you know, famous, famous last words, like, watch me cut away until, <laughs> watch me cut away to me getting my ass handed to me. Oh, you're right. Huh? This isn't, this isn't snow. These are flower petals. You hear a voice from somewhere. Listen to my voice, my shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am a little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid. Fate to foam. The little mermaid. Is that Marie-chan's voice? 
She sounds sad. Wow, way to way to end that conversation, right? So the Hollow Force is a is a new dungeon introduced Persona 4 Golden. It is a requirement to get the not the true ending of the game, but to get the after game epilogue. You need to finish this dungeon. To access this dungeon, you need to get Marie's social link all the way up, which is fairly easy to do once you get to December or whatever. She's pretty much available every goddamn day, right? So if you don't, you know, if you're having a hard time with that, hang out with her in December. The Hollow Forest, although it's a new dungeon, and they're like, it's so dangerous, from what I remember, is actually pretty one, is one of the easiest, right? The fox is here too. Hi, fox. That means we picked you up from the shrine and drove you all the fuck the way out here. I'm gonna pat you on the head. Yep. Thank you. All right. So, I'm gonna save our game. We're gonna venture into the hollow forest. Now, <laughs> this save file is a little different from where we last left off, right? It might be a little overpowered, okay? I'm not saying much, but, uh, you know? <laughs> But that's actually not the case this time around. I'm pretty sure Yoshisune would not actually do that much for us, right? So, head into the Hollow Forest. Our team is going to consist of... Uh, I'm going to consist of characters that probably have a similar situation to Marie. So, Kanji. Hello. Right? Naoto. And Teddy. They all have the... You know, in common, they all have... The whole idea that, you know, they can't really accept their true selves, right? Like, Yosuke kind of has that a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's just more about him thinking he's above everyone else, right? Fucking Chie is just about jealousy and Yukiko's about not accepting people around her. She knows what she wants, but, uh, you know, she just feels like she's trapped and Rize kind of you know connects with that idea as well but since she's not you know she can't join in a fight be careful senpai I'm getting some bad vibes in there man we out here just trying to vibe okay oh my god I feel sick now that I said it like that <laughs> you vibing man you can hear a voice from somewhere where am I going you ask don't ask stupid questions I don't need a map I threw away my compass. My heart will show me the way. I walk by myself. I'm not lonely, you ask? Yeah. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Why don't you try to hold me down? I'll die magnificently in front of you. No one can break my wings. I don't need anything. I just walk by myself. That was Marie-chan's voice. Hey. No way. Senpai, look. All your items are gone. Marie-chan said I don't need anything. I just walk by myself? No way. This place is being affected by Marie Chan's denial. Senpai, be careful. This place is definitely strange. I can't put my finger on it, but I've been having a bad feeling ever since we got here. Alright. So, there is a huge ass gimmick here in this dungeon. Well, a multitude of gimmicks. One is that all your money and items are gone, right? Along with your equipment. Get replaced with a bunch of bullshit. Right? Throughout the dungeon, you're going to open chests, and within those chests, you're going to have different equipment, different accessories, and stuff like that. You want to get as much as you can, because it's going to help you along the way. Along the way, uh, there are also some floors that will sap the ever-loving shit out of your SP. Huh? I don't see any shadows here. Wait, that's not what I meant. There are shadows. I can feel them, but I don't see them. Continue through. Alright. Oh, so that one's weak to darkness. So because this dungeon saps the ever loving shit out of your SP, most enemies' affinities around here, they're all gonna be pretty easy to deal with, you know? So what you generally wanna do is you just wanna save as much Save as much SP as you can. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? And you know, just clear them out the way. Three 
For the most part, you don't have to worry about their weaknesses. Now, this dungeon would be super challenging if you were probably under level, but since, you know, we're at a we're at an adamant level, right? That and we have Rize's uh, Vigor Song. SP shouldn't be too much of a problem, especially with Naoto, with Invigorate and then the fucking uh, Chakra shit. Now we're gonna pick up some items, Firebreaker, and like a bunch of heal item stuff. You want those elemental items, you're gonna use that for the final boss of this area. I get it now. The shadows can attack when you cut the rope. Senpai, stay alert. Huh? Hold on. Everyone's spirit is really depleted. Why? Why are you so exhausted? Within every fight that you get into, your SP will be cut in half. So, uh, you know, careful with that. <laughs> and try your best to not ignore any chest around here, right? You're gonna, you're gonna need it. Especially if you're having a hard time with this. Protect me, Kozeon. Thanks. Thank you, Rize. Now, because I am a crazy son of a bitch, I'm gonna throw all caution to the wind and not really worry about my SP or HP or anything like that. Someone finish this one off. Right. For the most part, you probably do want to use it. Well, maybe not. Because if your SP is getting depleted, you might have a hard time recovering health and stuff like that. Hey, Senpai, have you noticed? You gain spirit during battle. Oh, what? Yeah, I know that. Maybe you can use, use that to stay ahead of the battles. I wish you could recover a little more, though. At the beginning of every battle, you'll get a little bit of SP, so you don't completely, you know, get your ass handed to you. <laughs> Brief stone. All right, these things you want to pick them up. These stones are the most helpful thing in the goddamn world. Every stone you get will be a part of Marie's denial, right? It'll be grief, pain, anger, apathy, whatever the fuck. I don't know. But what they mainly do is that this item will recover your SP. It has, you know, a stronger effect of invigorate on it, basically. So that's going to help you with your longevity throughout this, uh, dungeon. I believe this dungeon might have a total of 10 floors, I think? Petals. What do petals do again? I think the petals just recover SP. I think they're SP items. Yeah, 50 SP to all allies. I would personally say save up as much as you can for when you get to the final boss. And if you can, it's doomed. if you can try to avoid, try to avoid fighting too much. You're still gonna need to do a little bit of battling to get some items here and there. Enemies defeated. You're so cool, senpai. I couldn't defeat it. I need to like, give you better shit now, too. Couldn't finish it. You know, I, I was confused for a moment because I was like, well why am done, I doing everyone. so little damage? This motherfucker has a lot of defense, but then I forgot I don't have my fucking... <laughs> I don't have my my equipment. Damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. You can fight while waiting to recover, but it's pretty tiring if all the battles are going to be like this. What can we do? Well, we can just, you know, try our best. Oh shit. That enemy's weak to win. Yeah, no. These guys are annoying. They're resistant to physical. Enemy down. They got a lot of goddamn health. Just say the word and it's goddamn oh. Places, everyone. And action. <laughs> like I'd say no. Go! Beat him up! Is it dead? There we go. Oh, you're not even dead, Jesus. Going in now, Toe. Understood! And that was the last combination attack we had to see for this playthrough. That's also why I wanted Kanji and Naoto on the team. Haven't shown that off yet. Now if you're having some problems, you might want to get that XP, right? But for the most part with this dungeon, grab the chest keys. It'll make your life easier. And we're kind of overpowered anyway, so... 
Oh, I know, Senpai. Why don't you make sure to use the items you get from the treasure chest beating the shadows? Why don't you... Shut up. <laughs> I actually want this chest over here, so I'm gonna go pick it up. Oh, so that one's weak to darkness. I don't care. It's weak to Hazotobi. You're on a roll, Senpai. Oh, by the way, Hazotobi. <laughs> this is the first time we're seeing it in this playthrough. So, when you beat the, uh, when you beat, my bad. When you uh, watch, oh, nice job, Kanji. It's showtime. Are you ready? When you finish the uh, social link for the tower, for Shu the student, you get the ability to fuse Yoshisune. I believe you have to be around level 82 to get Yoshisune. 82 or 85 or something like that. I think. But Yoshisune is a persona that I believe you need five personas to fuse together. Right, but it's completely worth it. Probably the best persona in the goddamn game, despite not supposing not not he's not supposed to be the best persona in the game, but he's the best persona in the game. Right? Uh fuck. I, I skipped that by it. <laughs> Absolutely mind it, skip that. By your silent smile, by your composed voice, by your dark eyes, by your beautiful by your beautiful by your bashful fingers, I am slain. You wound me. I am a corpse, foolish, wretched, happy. Surely, I simply ride away, because you killed me. Huh? I can see shadows here. Where are we? What is this place? Throughout the dungeon, we're gonna hear Marie's fucking poems, right? The scream of her pathos, as she likes to put it. Now, you don't need to fight these shadows. I don't know why I'm fighting these shadows. But I am. So, when you fuse Yoshisune, right? If you, you know, fuse Yoshisune, you're not gonna get Hasutobi automatically. You're gonna be a couple of levels below the requirement to unlock it. Hasutobi is one of the signature moves that one of the few signature moves that personas have, right? Not every persona has a signature two. Very few have it, in fact. Another example is Alice, which is a secret persona that the Compendium doesn't tell you exist, and you have to, you know, get it yourself by either knowing the fusion yourself or just looking at the guide or something, right? And Alice is a Death Arcana persona, and, you know, she's, of course, like everything in fucking Japan, she's based off of Alice in Wonderland. Right, it's that Alice, right? And she specializes in, you know, magic and darkness and stuff like that. But she has a special ability called Die For Me. And that ability is an insta-kill to any character. I think I have her with me, by the way. Yes, I do. To any character. Uh, any character, my bad. Any enemy that doesn't have any resistance to darkness. So it is a guaranteed kill. Beautiful. Now, fun thing about this is that Alice is pretty much a main, you know, as much as Jack Frost is a mainstay in the Shimagami Tensei series, so is Alice. Alice has been around there for a long time. I think she even might have been in the series way back when it was just known as Megaton. Right? I believe she actually had like some story some story stuff and um and like the original Shimigami Tensei stuff. But don't don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. <laughs> what we got? Thank you. Um Okay. Heading this way. Running low on SP, but I'm not too worried about it. So Haso Toby. That thing is awesome because it is a physical skill. Well, first of all, I just want to take a quick look at Yoshisune to show why you probably want this guy on your goddamn team. Yoshisune, null to physical attacks. So if Hasutobi ever goes wrong, you're fine. You won't get your ass handed to you. 
Strong against fire, repels electricity, repels light, has no weakness. Pretty good all around, with two repels, one nullification, and strong resistance to fire, that's pretty goddamn good. Right? And if you want to make it even better, all you gotta do is slap on a nullification or a reflect to darkness and you really don't gotta worry about it. But you don't need that, because guess what? Hasutobi deals light physical damage to all foes. That sounds really weak, but it happens eight times, in which each of those consecutive hits, there's a chance for you to get a critical. Not only that, but each of those hits can be powered up by power charge, along with along with uh, whatever you know damage boost that you have with that, whether it be uh, through Maru, uh, fucking Mar Maru Terakonja or whatever. Maru Terakonja or fucking... Um, or Chie's Dragon Hustle, which you're probably going to end up using towards endgame anyways. Regenerate. 6% of HP. You can just keep doing this shit all day. Right? Arms Master. Half the cost for physical skills. So, not only that you regenerate your chances to use it, but you also half the cost of it. Hustle Toby all day, baby. Doing the Toby Hustle. Right? Endurance. Just in case you do it too much, and you get a little health. Right? If you die and you fuck up, you get one HP back. And you start regenerating that shit, right? He also learns Maggie Dolan, Zeodyne. If you can get that Zeodyne to a My Zeodyne, that's even better. And for extra added measures, just in case someone else can't boost you, you can boost yourself with Heat Riser. Yoshitsune is the most broken motherfucker in this game. With that said, no duh, he's the only one who can use Hasotobi. You cannot transfer that skill to any other persona. There's no skill card for it. So don't even goddamn try. I wish there was, because then I would just put it on fucking Iz Izanagi no Okami. <laughs> the end game is Yoshisune. <laughs> Grease though, nice. I'm going to give that to Naoto, actually. Actually, no, I'm going to hold off, because we're just going to pick up a bunch of stones along the way. And it's going to be annoying to constantly just fucking switch things out. Right? And we're not really hurting right now, so... And for the most part, most enemies aren't really resistant to physical. I mean, there's a, there's a handful of them, but if that's the problem, then you have someone else deal with it. For mornings when I can't see you, spicy mint tea. For brunch... A marmalade muffin. A touch of bitter fits my mood. A sigh. What? A sigh of stardust. A sigh of stardust. What? Okay. It's like our own Milky Way. I can't catch up to your distant back. Look, twilight creeps upon us. The distance to you is like an eternal night, an eternal pre dawn. Hey, Senpai. What the hell's all this stuff Marie's saying? It's kind of weird. It's her poems. I see, Marie Chan's poems. Maybe it's because of this place, but I feel like these words have some deeper meaning. If they do, I don't know what they are. <laughs> the scream of my pathos. Alright. Now I'm going to start avoiding a handful of these shadows. If I can, because I do not want to deal with this bullshit. Yeah, he's weak to win. I don't have any... Oh, wait, no. Uh... You do. Let's go. There you go. Why did I say it's weak to anything? Damn it! Hit the enemy's weakness. <laughs> Why am I worried about the wind? I'm ready to go. Just precisely. Stay. Is everyone ready? Get set. Are you ready? Here goes. Go. Beat him up. Rize threw me off my game. She's like, it's weak Break to win. Dial, Doesn't matter. Kunji-kun, now is the time. All right, leave it to me. I gotta say, this is definitely this the coolest is fucking. This is the coolest one in my book. Out of the combination attacks, I definitely like that one the best. Chesky, I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Let you find out. Let you find out what. <laughs> Got some of those pedals. Now, of course, when the time comes, I'm definitely going to show off every persona that you can get in this goddamn game. There's a reason why I co completed the compendium. I gotta show it all off, right? What the hell are you doing over there? My dog is like clawing at its cage. Hey, buddy, calm down. You don't gotta go until, like, maybe an hour from now. 
the music on this stage slaps so much. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, the boss, uh, the boss music for this fucking dungeon is might be my favorite song in um, Persona 4 Golden. Hey, how long are you gonna wear that ugly mask? You know you ain't got no guts for the task. Out here dropping bars, Marie. What the fuck? <laughs> Convert yourself with paint. You acting like you ain't afraid of what you got in store for your fate. Jesus. <laughs> you think you got me? Well, that's too bad. Guys ain't stupid enough to be had. So drop the pathetic act. You want to dance and that's a fact. Yeah, I'm a clown. A pathetic clown dancing forever. Senpai. She said, listen, I ain't the clown. I'm just the whole entire fucking circus. But I got hottest bars. <laughs> Marie out here low-key spitting. Uh, High-key on her shit. Look over there. That's the Juness sign, isn't it? I see other stuff from the shopping district in here as well. What does it all mean? I don't know, Rize. If I knew, wouldn't I be telling you? Stop asking me. Hold on, I feel something. Looks like you can be attacked by shadows when you cut the ropes here too. You ready, senpai? I think this is the area where there's like a shit ton of ropes and I honestly do not know where to go in this area. I might end up getting lost. That enemy's weak to win. Blow him away. Also, I gotta make sure I don't spend too much time in this dungeon. Because I have like, what, an hour left before I gotta go? So. Uh, hit that Augie die. I couldn't defeat it! Nice job. One enemy to go. Keep it up. The mechanics for this dungeon sucks, but OT makes up for it. I'm not that worried about the mechanics for this dungeon. For the most part, I usually just kind of avoid as many fights as possible. You don't really have to worry about it until the boss. I honestly think this might be the easiest dungeon in the game because it comes so late in the game that by the point you get here, you should be really overpowered as fuck. And, um... And whatchamacallit. The fact that they kind of practically just hand you the items that you need and every enemy is like weak to everything. Maybe it might be like the worst if it's on like risky difficulty. That enemy's weak to win. Blow him away. What difficulty am I playing on? I'm playing on normal. You're on a roll, the way I did this playthrough was that I wasn't gonna do um I wasn't doing a new game plus, right? For the majority of the playthrough, and when we get towards the end, I was gonna switch it up so I can make sure just to show off the rest of the stuff that's left in the game. Down and die already. Fuck it, just speed it, it up, damn it. There you go, just shoot it, Nato. Just shoot it with your gun. There is one thing that I am kind of scared of to do in this playthrough. I haven't talked about it at all yet, because I want it to be a surprise for people who don't know. But there's a certain... There's a certain fight that may be a little difficult. You may not be able to heal during it, or you just get Darkness nuked instantly. Darkness won't work. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I might cheat for that fight. I'm not sure. That one scares me. Not as much. Not as much as I, as I was scared of the one in um, in Persona Five. Good, Natsukun. The enemies have fallen. Let's finish them off. Precisely. Here goes. I'm not looking Damn, forward to that fight. Oh my god, you got a lot of HP, you son of a bitch. This is it. That's what comes of underestimating me. It's nullified to darkness and shit, right? Ah, oh, damn it. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Yoshisune breaks the game. I know that's the point. <laughs> but even with Yoshisune, the fight I'm talking about might be too difficult for me. I actually never finished it legit. I might need to practice off screen for that one. Uh. Wait, no, it's weak to physical. What am I doing? Enemy down. Just keep beating its okay, ass. Okay, is everyone ready? Get set. All right, go. Beat him up. What more of them? Gee. 
Thanks for the maca jam. Naoto kun can't use her persona now. Jackass. That was its weak spot. Keep it Keep up, going, Teddy. Teddy. I'll get it next time. Three enemies left. You can win this. Suck it. <laughs> Here, Kanji just screams, "Suck it!" Man, that reminds me of uh, fucking what's my call it? You're on a roll, senpai. Uh, earlier today, I was doing some combat trials in Alt and Ultimax, and I was—I never really sat down and played as Kanji. But Jesus, fuck, Kanji is like might be one of the easiest grapplers to ever play as. And that man got a lot of combos just to do some crazy shit. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? You think I won't? Naoto-kun can't use her persona now. <laughs> Enemy down. That's so <laughs> weird. Got Kanji. Kanji makes me laugh this whole entire game. Oh, the man's way. Oh, you know what? I might as well show these off, right? This is how a man does. This is Konji of uh, Konji's. Wow. This is Kanji's uh ability that he gets. For his ultimate persona. Man's way has a chance of knocking down enemies. Basically, it's a it's a critical. Well, it's a it's a it's a move that you get a critical for, but you have a chance of getting a critical, so at that point. Like what the fuck? But whatever. I think Kanji's is probably the worst out of it all. In Arena? Uh yeah, in Ultimax. Ultimax is the sequel to Arena. You can play Arena within Ultimax. They were still C for that. You paid nine dollars and you got the story of Arena and Ultimax, but now you just buy the fucking re-release. One enemy to go. Keep it up. You hit the enemy's weakness. I'm ready to go. Just say the word. Okay. I was doing a bunch of combat trials for everyone else too. Like for the first time I picked up Margaret and I was like, holy shit. I was like, your shit is weird. She has a she has a uh, she has a power slash super. I think it's called power slash or some bullshit. I don't really remember. Um, it's one of the goddamn moves. But that super can cancel into another super and also boost it while doing it. And one of the combat trials has you boosting that into Hasso Tobi. And um, boosting? What the fuck am I saying? Have you canceling it into Hasso Tobi? And it's. It it's looks like so the easiest stubborn. input to do in the world, but it's the fucking hardest thing ever. Like, I cannot get it, it consistently. At all. Margaret fights with the Persona. She fights with- she's the only character in the game that fights with three Personas. <laughs> the way that game works is that everyone, you know... You have, uh, your main character that have their two physical attacks that they do, and then... Well, two variants of physical attacks that they do. And then they have two variant, two buttons for like personas, right? And each character has a certain number of persona cards depending on how reliant they are on that persona, and you can break their persona stuff like that. Margaret's whole game plan relies on nothing but personas, but because Margaret carries the compendium with her at all times, she has access to a handful of personas, technically all of them if she feels like it, right? But within the game, she plays around with Shiva, um. Tim Lin, or whatever the fuck his name is, Tam Lin, and Yoshisune. Those are her main three she uses. And then... Jesus, you really have to headbutt him, Kanji? What the fuck, man? You're supposed to be helping him out, not giving him a fucking concussion. What the hell? <laughs> but, um... I lost my train of thought after Kanji did that shit. Jesus. But yeah, her whole game plan is around Personas, which she has the most number of Persona cards in the game, so if she gets Persona broken, she's really in trouble. You know, on the other hand, you also have Elizabeth from Persona 3, who her game plan, uh, her main Persona she uses is Thanatos for obvious reasons. <laughs> obvious reasons, she uses Thanatos. But, um... She's a Thanatos, and unlike every other character in the game, she constantly builds her super meter. And... Fucking... Her, she's the weakest character in the game, because she's very fragile, but... She has some crazy shit she can do as well. Like, I'm not... Like, I'm not a master at fighting games or anything like that. I'm definitely above average, though. That's for fucking sure. But... <laughs> 
but Jesus, just fucking around with the uh, combos in that game. Like I, like back when the game was like on PS3 and 360, I played it. I played it online, but I didn't play it as much, right? Because I was playing like other games at the time that, and I still wasn't as deep into fighting games that I am now. But, but like holy shit. <laughs> I honestly think uh, Ultimax is probably my favorite fighting game of all time. What more of them? And that's saying a lot because there's a lot of good ass fighting games. No spoilers for P3, please. Oh yeah, trust me. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna say it. Right? Yo, yo! I'll send you to hell. Don't have arena, but you play Blaze Blue Cross Tag. Yeah, Blaze Blue Cross. Blaze Blue Cross Tag was fucking weird. I didn't buy. I played the beta, and I had friends who had the game, and I played it off of their systems and stuff. But um, just checking in before you head to bed. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you again, Squish. Uh, there's no way we're gonna finish this game tonight, by the way, because I didn't think the cutscenes, cutscenes, whatever. I didn't think the uh, dialogue would take as long as it actually did. But we're definitely going to beat Marie's uh, dungeon, hopefully. I hope so. This motherfucker takes a lot of hits. What more of them? Gee. And you know why I'm sitting here doing this? Can't use her because now. I just don't want to use my SP. I just realized I should have just... I should have just power charged this shit from the beginning. Why the fuck haven't I done that? I'm running on autopilot right now. So but yeah, stubborn. um... But I, uh, whatchamacallit? I played Cross Tag. Cross Tag is way different. Because it's also a four button fighter, but. I don't know. I, I honestly don't like the system in Cross Tag. That and. And no offense, but all offense, please be taken. Um. <laughs> I just fucking hate Ruby so much. Oh my god, that whole entire thing just made me not want to play the game. I don't need to hear that voice squealing in my ear every five seconds. I really don't. It got back up. Defeat it fast. Jesus. But like, I remember um Blaze Blue coming out and like, you know, the devs of Blaze Blue, they were like, listen, if you want another persona game, we're really trying to find in like interest in it. Cause we wanna make again, we wanna make fucking P5 persona. Arena. Of course they do. They love Persona over there. But not a fan of Ruby. I'm happy that everyone who has came into my stream ever within the span of a year, a uh, year or two, they don't like Ruby, which is great. Thank you, because I don't have to fucking kiss ass. <laughs> like, Jesus. Are you fucking kidding me, Kanji? What the hell, man? You're useless. What happened? What was that about? But, like... You're on a roll, senpai. Fucking... Uh, you defeated. Like, that was one of the main reasons that just did not make me want to play the game. Just, like, the fact that I have to look at that shit. It's like, we got Blaze Blue characters, okay? We got Union characters. Alright, that makes sense. You know, it's a pick, but it makes sense. Persona, okay, yeah, that makes sense. All big names. And we got Ruby. It was like... Get the fuck out of here, man. What are you doing here? You don't belong here. But, um... Yeah, cross tag to me, like, not only just that, you know, that, again, that's not enough to make me not like a game. At some point, I am gonna buy cross tag, because it constantly goes on sale, I guess, because most people don't really fuck around with it too much. But, um, well, at least more people play it than fucking, than, uh, Grand Blue Fantasies. But, um, yeah, it just didn't feel right to me, like, at all. I didn't really like how the tag mechanic worked in that game, either. Right? Like, I'll pick it up, because, I mean, yeah. And I guess Blaze Blue Cross Tag did something right, because you then Arena help, got re-released, but now anyone who wants Persona... I think anyone who bought Cross Tag honestly just bought it for Persona. Either that or you were a Ruby fan. That's pretty much the main two reasons to get that game. But, uh, anyone who wants Persona now, they have a... They can just fucking pick it up! It's, 
It's $30 for that re-release. It's a great fighting game. That's a great value. It has all the DLCs. And it doesn't fucking only have the story for Ultimax. It also has the story for Arena. You get fucking two fighting games for the price of one with all the DLC and shit. And Rollback just came out for it, I think, this week. It's a good-ass fighting game. This is great. <laughs> Feel a hundred on that, but... Uh, hunter on that one but what you see is that people really like the ruby inclusions yeah that's what i feel like if it, most people who bought cross tag either they just want to play persona or they just want to play with ruby characters that's honestly it because there's a shit ton of blaze blue games and at the time uh, blaze blue cross tag came out uniol uh came out with uniol list which is under night in birth latest or whatever the fuck it was called so it had a new version of that game too so there was really no reason to get the game if you like Blaze Blue or Uniel, because you already had the two games to fill that, you know, itch for you. Uh, cold things. Looking a lie. People wearing a mask of deceit. That is me, and that is you. The light. Warm things. Living a straightforward life. Kind people who engulf everything. That is you. Senpai. Are you alright? Looks like we still have ways to go. Don't let your guard down. Hey. You need to watch your health, Senpai. Rize. Thanks for worrying about me, okay? I thought I was gonna tell you to shut up, right? But no, I appreciate it. Angerstone! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, but uh, wasn't a wasn't Chrono wasn't Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasm Extended or whatever the fuck it's called? Didn't that come out like a year before Blaze uh Blaze Blue Cross Tag? Like most people were playing that. You got it, Naoto. I believe in you, baby. Damn it, Naoto! I can see that my faith was misplaced. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I knew you had high counter. I'm sorry. Why the fuck did I do that? That was my fault, Teddy. I'm sorry. Enemy down. We can stand ready. I live for this part. Tenacious. Get it, you two. Very well. See, there's no problem with getting Chie and fucking Yukiko to do their special. There's no problem with Naoto and Kanji doing their special. But whenever I wanted Teddy and Yosuke to do their shit, they just ignored me. They just went, nah. I don't like that guy. I live with them every day. Why would I team up with them? Fuck that guy. That motherfucker's living in my house rent free. Eating all my damn snacks. And taking all my porn and showing it to my family at the fucking breakfast table. Hey guys, you want to think about Yosuke rubbing his dick at the while you eat your fucking eggs and sausage? You know, Hanamura Senior sitting there putting the breakfast sausage in his mouth. You know, putting that Wiener Schnitzel in there. And then T Teddy's all like, "Do you, you think Yosuke touch himself to these nurses, man?" The fallen angels is chained down. Her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice, her last breath full of dark, uh, dark, black despair. Do you know her name? We shall, uh, you will eventually return to nothing, forced into the realm of oblivion. No, her requiem will be a roar and tear away the mask of hypocrisy. You should know her name. She who closes her eyes and dozes off into dreams. Hey, Senpai, you said that Marie found the memories that she'd forgotten, right? So then this place is her memory? That's sad, man. But I can't I can't explain why. You need what happens to Teddy in the end again? Of oh, this game? Oh, he just fucking lives with Yosuke. Forever. <laughs> like, when Teddy leaves, Yosuke's all like, I can't find Ted, man, I'm worried. And I'm like, and I'm like, I get it, Yosuke, you're worried, but at the same time, Yosuke really became a dad. Like, <laughs> at the age of, se of what, 17? Against his will, he's like, I guess I'm a father now, here's my child. His name's Teddy, he has special needs. <laughs> like, for real, man. Because I highly, like, I mean, like, I really feel like, I honestly feel like, uh, Teddy is the fucking Joey to Yosuke's Chandler. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if Joey ever get. Yeah, Joey does get his own place at some point in Friends, right? He moves in with a girl or something like that. Oh yeah, fucking, you know, when like, when Chandler's moving out and fucking Joey's all like, but, but we're buddies. And Chandler's like, don't worry, I'll pay the rent, dog. It's okay. He's like, no, 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 you don't live here. You don't need to pay nothing. I can do it myself. I'll just get rid of the TV and the electricity and I'll buy bottled water. <laughs> and, you know, I guess I can, I guess I can just live off of sandwiches every now and then. Release yourself from desire, from impulse. Release yourself. Your hurt voice, your internal scream, in exchange for a lost voice, grab hold of a proof of your life. And with the proof in your heart, come with me. You need to watch your health, senpai. Oh, you got nothing to add on to that, Rize? It kind of freaked me out that I was done reading that and she didn't put a little remark in there. Played this on the Vita a hell long time ago. Oh, trust me. It's the first game I got on my Vita. <laughs> Not only There's that I have a Vita, there. but I also have a Vita TV, because I was planning to, uh, you know... Originally, since Persona 4 Golden was stuck on the Vita forever, I had a Vita TV and I was going to record it off of that, right? I was going to record Persona 4 off of that. But uh, they released it on the PC and, like, almost every JRPG that... Ex well, I mean, I, I'm still going to use the Vita TV for, like, the other Persona games, though. Because most of the Persona games are on the Vita, so... Who's there? That voice. Marichan? We've been looking for you. What's with that getup? Something wrong? Stay back. We've come for you, Marie. Come on, let's go home. What's she doing? That's right, Marichan. We're all here to take you back home. Come on, let's go. I have no home. Ugh! You don't get it. What happened to your face? Dude, that eye. It's freaky. It was also kind of hot. I can't believe it. Why'd you come? Why? Marie-chan, listen. We don't know what memories have come back to you or how bad they are. But nothing good's gonna happen if you lock yourself away in here. Yeah, Marie, I don't know what's wrong with you or why you're depressed. But just stop being depressed, you dumb bitch. We know we're being meddlesome, but we want to help you. Meddlesome. That's one word for it. Yeah, we're meddling. And our talking bear, too. You thought I was in danger, didn't you? That I might get killed by the shadows. It'd be better that way. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. This is a grave. My grave. I'm going to die here. Aw, that's crazy, Maria. That's crazy. All right, now shut up. Yeah, Senpai's right. We won't let that happen to you. <laughs> what if Marie just fucking took a knife out and said, Oh, yeah? What about this? Uh. <laughs> we won't let that happen to you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> shut up. You don't know anything. Just does it right on the spot. Like, oh, my God. Emmy, Chan. Emmy, Marie. Neither of those is my name. Then what is your name? I remember. I remember everything. My real name is Kasumi no Okami. Yeah, Marie was her slave name. <laughs> you guys fought Kamino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri, right? Marie was my slave name. <laughs> I'm the same as them. I'm your enemy. One of the ones who covered your town with fog. Marie out here Chai looking like a snack with that eye. Enemy? Oh man. No way. It's doing something to me. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. Whether it may mentally damage me or not, I don't know. You serious? Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri were those... I don't remember. What were they? I remember them. I didn't ask, Teddy. I was asking Yasuke. They're those guys that came out from Adachi, baby, and that Namatame guy. That's what you remember? There's literally no reason for Teddy to call him a dodgy baby. I don't know why he does that, but I'm not opposed to it. That's right. Sneaking into the human world. Sensing the will of man. 
My dog is currently has stopped snoring in his sleep, and now he's just like mm, groaning. He's like, mm, mm, like he's literally doing that. My role was to inform the Sigiri what the wish of the people was. He's like really loud. That's why I'm the only one of them that looks human. Even without my memory, my body fulfilled my role. In your words, I'm a spy. You were spying without knowing it? That's so cruel. Do you understand now? Plus, I'll tell you something good. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. So, don't come chasing me. That's wrong, Marie. I can, I can fix you. Just like every awesome relationship that totally ends happily, I can fix you. Marie-chan! Our world will disappear. What does she mean by that? I think she means our world will disappear. We know that she's one of those monsters. Like the ones that came from within Adachi-san and Namatame. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Ken. <laughs> I appreciate it. She may have a valid reason for shutting herself in this area. Now's not the time for deduction! She is trying to kill herself! We can't leave her like this! Alright, let's rescue Marie. Yes. Either way, we cannot leave her be. Let us hurry. You know, a part of me kind of hates that Marie is like super cute and I love her outfit because other than that, she is not that good of a character. <laughs> Does she really want us to come after her that much? Is that what she really thinks? When we come this far, we're not going to let her have her way. Right, Senpai? Yeah! Are you ready? You cut the rope, you'll be attacked by shadows. I know that already. Like, Marie is very weird. That's not good. Right. Darkness won't work. Cause like they wanted That's to the introduce her in the game. Well, they wanted to add her to the game, read, and they wanted to make You'll her really important to the story so that you would have a reason to do the extra content. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, she doesn't affect the story at all. There was no place where they can like throw her in there, right? Is Haman gonna do anything? There was no good place they can throw her in there, unlike, um, you know, Kasumi from 5, right? Um, they try to integrate her into a story that already kind of had, you know, they already had everything good with it. There was no things that needed to be added. So instead of, like, trying to do that, they focused on giving her all these fucking character traits because... Because every good waifu needs a fucking bunch of quirky, crazy traits, right? So, they just gave her a shit ton of them. It's like, oh, she's part of the Velvet Room thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. She likes poetry. Alright. When she's flustered, she fucking meshes her words together. She's a super tsundere. Right? They gave her so many different fucking quirks that it... That you're just like... You're just like, I get it. <laughs> right? You're like, I get it, Marie, I do. But, uh... Congrats, senpai. You're just all over the damn place. There's no... The only thing consistent is that you're depressed all the time. <laughs> right? So, Marie just doesn't really work out in that aspect, and I think that's why a lot of people kind of don't like her. Is because she just has no place in the story at all as opposed to what they did in Persona 5 where instead of integrating a character into the main story they were like oh you know with Persona 5 Royal instead of doing that we're gonna make the extra content be be something that happens after the main stuff because that's just as good and you know without being restricted to uh Without being restricted to to all the rules that you have to follow in a story that was already made, Go, senpai, you rock. they were able to do whatever the fuck they wanted. Wow, that was 
That wasn't... That did not go how I planned. Are they immune to bo- Oh, wait, why did I fucking- God damn it. Don't lower your guard now. I'll get it next time! It ain't going down! I'm just trying to get- Wait for Nato to get her turn. There we go. Come on, Nato. What are you weak to again? When? Oh. One enemy to go. Oh, I should have. Damn it! I could have just had Nato do it. I'm sorry, Nato. I'm just stupid. My mind don't work no good. I hope you're prepared. Oh shit! I got 20 minutes before this alarm goes off. <laughs> I mean, I may have set my alarm a little early, but you know, better. Better be early than to fuck up and miss it at all. All right. I believe we might have like five more floors to go through. Ah, damn it. Be careful. There's an ice immune enemy. Yeah? That's really cool, Rize. I'm getting tired of this shit. <laughs> I hate these enemies. There. Right, we won. Dealt with. You happy? <laughs> Fucking pissing me off. Do I have a key on me? Yeah, I do. Okay, nice. This is the area that I hate the most because I don't fucking know where I'm going. Where's this lead? I hope that doesn't just lead me to, like, the chest, because I'm going to be really upset if it does. Um, I'm going to go deeper in. Alright. Um, this way? This leads to that. Okay, this way. I'm guessing you're immune to darkness? Yeah, okay. That one's immune to darkness. Wait, what the f- Did it try to use a ailment on itself? What the fuck just happened? Alright, fire bad. What the hell did you just do to me? Don't give up. Teddy, you got it, baby. On, you can do it. Yes. <laughs> nice job. Wait, what? No. Damn it. Because my character is fucked up. I, I wasn't able. Wasn't able to do the all-out attack. It's really mad. It make me mad. You can win this. Just don't use darkness. Oh, it's nullified to every. Oh, damn. <laughs> Come on now. Damn, couldn't finish it. All right. Well, now, to I'm gonna need you to throw. Where is it? Where the fuck? Can I not use the? Oh, I can't use the pedals in in a fight. Damn it. All right, we'll shoot it. Someone finish this one off. Well, they can't, Rize. They can't. I'm sorry, but they can't. It's so stubborn. One enemy to go. Keep it up. <laughs> Come on down. Damn, couldn't finish it. Ow! I shot myself. Now I know how Mista feels. Protect me, Kozeon. <laughs> I love how in JoJo parts. <laughs> Not part six. I keep I keep wanting to call part five the one with Jolene and part six the one with fucking uh Jorna. Right? 
by in, <laughs> in JoJo Part 5. It's like Mista's the most broken character because he can literally just shoot anyone from anywhere. So they constantly have to make him shoot himself. <laughs> That story Let's takes place within, like, a week. So, that means Misa's, like, shooting himself every five down. hours. Last one. Go for it. Oh, it's quite tenacious. Like, Jesus, that's just not... That's just not your, uh, it's not your day, huh, Misa? Oh, shit, now you're about to get your ass handed to you. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Teddy, do something. Make yourself useful. That was annoying. Alright. Items. I actually need to use these now. Cool. Banana. Yay, we made it! I hate this area. I am the queen. Yes, my queen. This world belongs to me. I don't need anyone else. My world is already complete. I am the queen. This false world belongs to me. The lonely queen. No one knows the real me. Don't take away my cape because underneath I am nothing. Don't chase after me. Please. Marie said that she needs to die or our world will disappear, huh? Senpai, what are you? Sorry, I shouldn't ask you that at a time like this. This isn't the time for this kind of thinking. Marie-chan is trying to die. We can't let her live like that. Right, Senpai? Let's go. Let's go. Now I'm gonna avoid the enemies because... Dungeon's starting to drag on a bit. <laughs> Memories of loneliness. Ah, there it is. That was pretty easy. Do you not get it yet? This is the day the world changes. The unprepared will be left behind. I am already ready. There's nothing... I'm already ready, hey. hey. There's nothing... <laughs> There's nothing I can do anymore. If you're scared, close your eyes. Shut the shut the gibberish spouting ugh. gibberish spouting mouth. I can't say that word for some reason. I'm going to a world that you don't know, to a world where you can't go. Goodbye. Let's meet again. Oh, I can feel her. Reach on's close. Senpai, just a little bit more. Got this, Rizay. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. You no, know, I'm just doing what I do. I really hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> oh, I am. Here it is. Wow, that was easy. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we're at the end. Here we are, senpai. Marie's up ahead. Nice. All right, now I'm going to fuck with my equipment. Strange sword. Does anyone have anything new? I don't think so. Okay, repels fire. All the defenses are the same. Resist win. I mean, I don't need it. So, uh, Kanji, here you go. Resist win. And Teddy... You need a win one too, yeah? Wait, no, Teddy's weak to electricity, my bad. But we don't have that, though. Yeah, we don't, we don't have, we don't have one for electricity. I'm sorry, Teddy. Um, now to, I guess I'll give you the fire one. I don't care. I already have a shit ton of resistance to this, so I don't need it. All right. For me, because I'm such a player player. Actually, you know what? For Naoto, because Naoto is going to be the most important one here in this fight. Kanji, and another Anger Stone. Uh, actually, I'm going to give it to Teddy. Because he's better at magic than both me and Kanji. With the uh, Yoshisune that I'm using. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, no. My bad, I'm sorry, Ted. Give me that shit back. <laughs> I forgot, I'm, I'm running around with, uh, Alice. And here's the Grief Stone. Alright, just making sure Teddy has Grief, and Nato has Anger. Alright, cool. 
Oh, let me actually switch that persona up while I'm doing this. When is Alice weak to? What? Okay, well, she doesn't have any light abilities, not to my knowledge. It's gonna have the fucking best goddamn song. Senpai, are you ready? Here we go. Proceed. Hell yeah. There she is! Marie-chan! Damn, girl, why are you sleeping? Why? Why do you come? Why? Because I'm desperate. I told you I'm your enemy. That you don't need to bother with me. Why did you come this far? To save you. Thank you. But it won't do you any good. I'm tired. I... I just want to end it all. Shut up, you know what that means. You think we're just gonna lie down and let you do that? Marie-san, please listen. Even if you are one of those creatures, that's still no reason for you to end your own life. The two Sagiri have been defeated. That means you're... Free? Is that what you think? That's not true. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip your dialogue, Marie. Uh, what do you mean by that? I told you already. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. Our role was more than to simply find out the wishes of man. Our true role is to control the fog and bring that wish to fruition. Control the fog? Don't you think it's strange that the fog never went away? That it lasted for months? That uh, was weird. The Sagiri created the fog. And I absorbed it. That's freaky. The fog that changes people to shadows. Wait, then the reason the fog cleared was... That's right. When Amino Sagiri was defeated, the fog covering your town was no longer needed. Then I heard a voice, and all the fog flowed into me. She said, you guys are stupid. You thought this was a video game. You thought you beat the boss and everything disappears and goes happy. Fuck that. <laughs> the fog went all into me, and I was like, ah, oh, this shit hurts. The fog isn't gone. Even now, it's raging inside me. No way. So the fog isn't gone after all that. It's just in you now? When my mind is completely overpowered by the fog, I will disappear, taking the fog and the hollow forest with me. What if you replace the word fog with smoking? You ever thought about that? Yeah, uh-huh, see now you're thinking about depressing things. I got you, haha. <laughs> <laughs> I am a being destined for non-existence. That's the memory that came back to me. The world will be saved. Man. I can't let you save the world. Fuck the world. Yes. Even if that is her real reason for hiding herself in the hollow forest. What has the world ever done for me? I cannot <laughs> agree with the conclusion she is drawing. Hell no. She's saying that we can only have world peace in exchange for her life? Screw that. Yeah. That's why. That's why I left. Because there's no point in seeing you. We'll just hurt each other. More like you'll hurt yourself. It's okay. It's all okay. I've already made enough memories of my own. Fun. Happy memories. If you're not gonna leave now, then I'll have to make you leave by force. Please. Just understand. <laughs> what is the trick? <laughs> what do you mean, Marie's clothes? Damn it, why did it end up like this? You know, it's just her cultist pajamas. I can't fight Marie. She's a wife. Why are you getting cold feet now? Hey, Kanji. Shut up. We lose. There's no one else who can stop her. We gotta do this. Okay. <laughs> More like she's drowning. Oh, We're shit. We're saving her! 
If we give up here, then why the hell did we even bother coming all this way? You know, Marie, if you're drowning, then why are you so fucking thirsty? <laughs> like... Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else suffer from that fog. We have to do it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna shut up now because this music is great. I don't want you to suffer anymore. Why don't you understand? Senpai, we can't lose here. The peace we've earned shouldn't come at the cost of anyone's life. We cleared the world of the fog, and now we're getting rid of it for good. We're not gonna get through to her like this. Sorry, we're gonna have to whoop her ass first. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> we cannot back down here. You can't we die if I kill you. Listen to us. Goes. This is for your own good. That's it now. Ow. Can you get up? I just got the Hasa Toby ready and I was like, wait a minute, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyways. You can't stop me. <laughs> Still don't get it. Might be a bad idea, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot I blocked that. Aww. Sometimes that can hit her, I think, maybe. Right? I'm gonna joke about whooping Reed's ass, but first, how old is she? Thousands of years old? Yeah, it's one of those characters. <laughs> I was supposed to get myself SP before the fight, but I forgot to do that, honestly. So now we're here at a disadvantage. Protect me, Kozeon! Damn it. You out here being all hurt now, Toe Jesus. Oh, we can use the. Oh. Huh. Let me, uh. Do I not have anything to heal you with? Oops. Sorry about that. Teddy, I'm gonna need your help on this one. Six, six, six? I didn't even know that was Kanji's help! Oh my god. <laughs> this guy. Marie's eyes are sad. And it's sad from this ass whooping. I'd be crying too if I got hit with the belt. <laughs> Give me your hand! What are you crying for? You want me to wet it? No. <laughs> Stay out of this. Just just leave me alone. Oh Marie, this is anime. Don't you know that I can't do that? All right, at this point, you can just guard, honestly. Here, on your feet. You don't actually need to fight her from this point onward. Why? Why do you still come? All you have to do is abandon me. Oh, give me some SP, please. I need it. I need it. I need it. Please, 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 please. Damn it! You charging me up for? I can't do shit with it. Thank you. <laughs> she said, my bad, my bad. I pressed the wrong button. Suck. 
Let me try that again. Why don't you understand? Just give up. All right, where's my phone? Because I know this alarm's about to go off in like two seconds or something, right? Oh shit! It's about to go oh, off in a minute. Oh no! Punk. I unlock my phone. Listen to us. Why? Why? Oh, I had the alarm set to 6.30. Oh, never mind. I thought I had it to 6 o'clock. It doesn't matter what happens to me. You're stupid. Hurting yourselves like that. Marie, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? You're stupid. Hurting yourselves like that. Now, let me kill myself. If my death keeps you from being happy, what am I dying for? Don't say you're going to die. <laughs> Marie's like, why do you keep fighting? I'm just standing here, Marie. What are you, what are you talking about? Don't worry. It'll be okay. I used to be just a shadow, too. But even I could change. Emi-chan, you have to believe. <sighs> yeah, it's like what Prapper and Rapper said. You gotta believe. What good comes of belief? Uh, well, there's the Holy Wars. <laughs> you save me, and your world is gonna disappear. Is that what you want? What's good come from belief? Uh, wars, terrorism, <laughs> those goods. That's what it means when you tell me you want me to live. I look so stupid. Afraid of living off borrowed life. Afraid oh man, I just thought of like a really fucking risky joke about religion, and but I'm not gonna do it because that's kind of offensive. Thinking that is really bad. I could remember something, and then I'd have a life worth living. It's funny. I remember now. I already have a role. And it's to disappear. I shouldn't have ever remembered. It would have been better if I'd never remembered. Marie-chan. Oh no. It's that time of the month. What's wrong? That's right. Oh, what the fuck? There is no need for the truth. Ignorance is bliss. There will be no pain if you never try to find out. That voice! That's not Marie-chan! It's not Marie-chan, but it sounds kind of hot. So let her keep speaking, okay? Is that what she meant by her mind being overpowered? Hey! Snap out of it! Uh, don't come near me! Go home! Please! Just go home! All you losers! You just don't know when to quit. I never should have met any of you. Especially you. I hate you! Damn. Hate me all you want. Yeah, what he said. You really aren't true to yourself, are you? You need to work on your acting skills. <laughs> yeah, she's been possessed by Igus. I'm not gonna lie, I thought about that the moment I heard it. I was like, Igus! Stop lying to me! It's not a lie. Everything in this world is the product of someone's mind. This place is yours. This tomb and the flowers all over it. Your resolve to die is what created this scenery. <gasps> However, on the way here, we saw things that don't fit a grave. Juness and Sozai Daigaku signs, the bench on the hill, the electric poles, mirrors, school desks. It's all from the town. The home of the people you say you hate so much. What? You want us to bury you with all that stuff? If you like them that much, why don't you come see for yourself, huh? I can't. Hey, motherfucker. I have to die. Calm down. <laughs> Stop moving around the cage. What are you doing? I can hear it. Like, I can see the microphone picking up the sound. Stop it. I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about anymore, Marie. I don't know, there's another way. Another... way? Yeah, he's right. You don't have to go away forever. The only thing that needs to go is your fog. What? <laughs> you realize the sentence you just said, Yosuke. That makes no sense, but I'm gonna keep rolling with it. It's impossible. There's no way. 
If we waste any more time, the fog will take me over and be set free. Now replace the word fog with addiction. Haha, <laughs> now I made you sad. You're thinking about depressing things. I got you again, second time. If that happens, I won't be able to take my own life. I'll become a monster. And if we defeat that... You can't die you if I kill you first. You say wait for to be controlled by the fog and then defeat her? Senpai, wait! I mean, it's still her body, right? If we fight the monster... Yeah! Uh, so what'll happen? I... I don't know. But maybe right now, y you might be able to. I'll put my mind to sleep before the fog overpowers it. See guys, the only way to save a failing relationship is to slap around your significant other. Then they'll listen to you. Of course, the fog will then take over my body, but my mind will still be safe beneath it. <laughs> The rest comes down to luck, I guess. Which will give out first? The fog? Or my life? Violence isn't the gamble. answer. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. Marie's making a lot of sense. She's like, what if my... Listen. She's like, Marie, what happened to your eye? How did that happen? <laughs> She's like, oh, my boyfriend just smacked me around a little bit. But it helped me come to my senses. It saved me. I'd rather not have to do that. But if there's no other way, then we'll just have to have faith that it'll work. Yeah, it's gotta be better than just sitting here and watching her die. She's not gonna die. We won't let her. Never go to like the doctors when your significant other's in pain, right? Cause you, you sit in the room and then doctor's like, how'd you get that? <laughs> and then, you know, she goes, oh, I fell. I fucked up or did something. And doctor goes, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And looks at you and you're like, what? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. This is our friend's life on the line. We can't fail now. Friends. Friends. Uh, we'll save you. We'll do it. Okay. I trust in you all. Now go to sleep. Even if I do die, it would be a better way than letting the current situation continue. But please. Don't any of you die. Murray, you can't kill me, even if you wanted to. It's coming. I say that Get and then ready, the boss everyone. just whips my ass. Will this really work? Emmy Chan won't die if we fight her? Alright, so here's the thing about this boss. I gotta say right now. I like the design of the boss. But is it really necessary to give it a chastity belt? Marie Chan believed in us. We have to believe in her. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Like that? That positioning down there is just a little questionable, you know? I'm just saying. What good is it to learn the truth? You want me to throw away my worthless self-satisfaction in exchange for eternal suffering and despair? I don't need it. I don't need any of it. What's wrong with turning a blind eye to suffering? I don't want a truth full of pain. I want a peaceful lie. What is this feeling? It's like she's not even seeing us. The best part of the song is going, and I can't even hear it because people are fucking talking. Shut up, Rize! She's denying everything. Be careful, Senpai. Normal tactics may not work. Emmy-chan, it must have been hard for you. But it's okay now. We're here. <laughs> I don't want to hear you. <laughs> Listen to that goddamn music. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, I love it! Alright. So, Marie here, right? She repels everything. Right? This is where you want your items to come in handy. 
Uh, let's see, what do I have? I have Firebreaker, Windbreaker, and those are the only ones I have. Jesus, are you serious? No fucking way. Alright, well... Yikes. The only ones that can use that ability is fucking, uh, Nauta. Alright, well, fuck, man. <laughs> I done fucked up, didn't I? Oh, God. Wait, no, I have, uh... Physicals are not, uh, physical's not gonna help you here. I have, uh... Oh, I have Mind Charge, too, and everything like that. Alright, well, then, fuck it. Teddy, you're on healing duty. Kanji, sit there and look pretty, okay? <laughs> that was beneath me. Oh, uh, damn it. Let's go. that damn music. Alright. So, Marie, right? Her whole gimmick here is you have to nullify her stat- uh, her stats. You gotta nullify her resistances and stuff like that, right? This is the only time I feel like fire break and elect break and all that shit would really help out in this game. But honestly, it really doesn't fucking matter. Right? And if you're ever having too much trouble with this, what makes this fight even more fun is that Marie doesn't really attack you too much here, and if anything, she starts fucking hurting herself. So... <laughs> you know, if you come prepared, you should be able- you should be just fine. If you're not prepared like me, well then you're- you're fucked. This is also why they give you these items, just in case you have a team that's not really good about that. Are you fucking kidding me? You really got a critical on me? Are you serious right now? She doesn't follow up on it though, so no matter. You know what? I'm not even gonna mind charge it. There's really no reason to. Just keep throwing out Megidola. That's why it's really good to have Naoto on your side for this fight. Fern. You know, with all the variety that Nato has. And... That's pretty much it for her, really. She doesn't even do too many hard-hitting moves. I think there's like, maybe... Uh... No, there's not even a hard-hitting move she does. She has a move where she takes away everyone's, like, SP, but then she hurts herself after it. Right? That's also why they give you, uh... You know, the items for, like, repelling magic and shit. Because you can just hurt her with that, too. So. Oh, you just noticed you missed a combo about BB Tag? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll be in the VOD. <laughs> um, did her thing go back? Yeah. Uh... I just wanted to see what the hell I got on me. Alright, Teddy, I'm gonna need you to start healing soon. Not too worried about it, but still, you know? This might take us a bit, though. Because I'm not really capitalizing on uh, what I can be doing to her. Actually, I think, my bad, I think she might actually be resistant to Almighty now that I think about it. Hold up. Maybe that's why I'm not doing that much damage. Uh... Throw Firebreaker back on there. Nato? Persona. I don't remember what Enclosed Shell does. I don't... Uh, I usually kill her by now, so... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna actually be a little cautious here. I don't know what the fuck is this. I guess it's like a counter, if I fuck up somehow. Alright. Uh, I have Miragi on, so I'm gonna see. I think she might have resistance to Almighty. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, cool. 
That's why I was doing so little damage. And you know what? If that's the case, my charge that shit. Come on, Miracle. Let's see what happens. Yeah, randomness. All right. Well, that. Th thanks, Teddy. <laughs> Items. Wish I had something for lightning to break lightning, so Kanji can help out. But I guess not. Never know. It's sort of seen that her special moves in P4U are named after the moves in this game. Oh, everyone's moves in um. MP for you are named after moves in the game. Except for Yosuke's uh awakening ability when he what does that, that flying kunai shit. Power to absorb the fog is going crazy. I don't think that's named after Careful, anything. She's sucking up everything. It might be named after a persona, actually, now that I think about it. I'm not sure, I would have to look at it again. Yeah. But um most moves are named after Shiap. I'm sorry, you, you made me lost my train of thought here, like, what the hell? <clears throat> like the boss design? Oh, I really love the boss design too, I mean... Listen. Listen, hi, listen, hello. I'm not saying much, but... I'm just saying, there's a little curvature happening there, I... You know? Find it weird they gave her a chastity belt, but, you know, I'm just saying. You know, I'm not saying much, but I'm just saying, you know. No. Oh, what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, she came knocking at my door. <laughs> I'm not saying much, but you know. Ow! Fuck! I didn't know that went back up. Oh, I should have paid attention. That's really not good. Ow. Uh, that was stupid. That was a stupid thing that happened. You don't even know what a chassis belt is? Oh. Well. <laughs> if you choose to learn. <laughs> there's a computer in front of you. Or a phone. But, you know. They think they're slick. They think I didn't notice it. It's just right there, like, it's right there, just hanging. There we go. She starts doing that draining fog shit. Urban Dictionary. There you go. Why don't you get it? The truth doesn't help anything! You're all hypocrites! Peace and tranquility lie in the fog! Senpai, don't listen to her! That's not the real Marie-chan talking! Alright. Now, uh... <laughs> now that that resistance is down, let's, uh, not kill myself. How about that? Let's not do that. Oh, shit! I meant to hit fucking... Mind charge and I hit Megadolin. Shit, my bad. I'm sorry. Damn it. Kamui Miracle. Yeah! Don't fuck us over, Teddy. Teddy? What the fuck, man? <laughs> Come on, man! Wow! Like, Teddy fucking for real, dude? Oh, 
Like, the fight's not even that hard, Teddy, but... Come on, man, that was... Wait, why am I... I just realized I'm so fucking dumb! <laughs> I might use a Megadola if I can just be using Megadola. Alright? Like, I know she's resistant to it, but at this point, I don't fuck care no more. Teddy just... Teddy just fucked me over royally. Oh my god, but that... Listen. That's the fun! Ha ha ha! The ha 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 streamer moment! <laughs> Teddy's a dickhead! It's very funny! You piece of fucking shit. Oh my god, I hate you, Teddy. Just sit there and look pretty now. Oh my fucking god, you really... Really? Doesn't matter my attack, Priest Freeze, eh? She has resistance, it's fucking almighty, who cares? Kanji can't do shit. Like, I knew not having the break abilities would fuck me over, right, if I didn't prepare for this, but, like, come on. I wasn't really worried about it, but I forgot she had resistance to Almighty, so... You know, we're just gonna have to whittle that health down now! Welcome to the part of the fucking stream where it gets boring! Or I lose my goddamn mind! You know, unless... Unless she wants to kill herself. <laughs> Fucking, why am I even on this goddamn menu for Teddy? Stop it. Kanji can't do shit like at all either. I'm pretty sure criticals. Oh, wait, do criticals exist for her? No, they don't. Damn, Nato, how you doing? How you holding up over there? Man, you're fucking getting hurt. Look at that wonderful damage happening right there. Isn't it great? Look how good it is. Thanks for ruining the fucking fight, Teddy. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, one job, dude. One job. Not to fuck me over royally. Couldn't even do that right. Marie, when are you gonna start hurting yourself again? That's what I need. I need you to start hurting yourself. You know what? There's really. Honestly, there is really no reason for me to be using Maggie Dolan. Because, I mean, Megiddo's just gonna do 50 damage, right? So. Might as well just. Honestly, might as well just switch to that, save up the SP. Charge me up or something, Rize. Defense? I'll take it, why not? <laughs> you really just fucked me up, Teddy, dude. Come on. You really just ruined it. Wow. This is gonna be a long fight. Holy shit. You know what? Fuck, I should just give I should just die, right? I should just die. Yeah, no, I, I'm yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna save this. It'll be faster for me to die than to sit here and do this and then switch up the party. Cause holy shit. <laughs> you really fucked me over, Teddy. Stop it, Reza. I don't wanna live no more. Marie was right the whole entire time. Death is the answer. Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind, you're good. I have go-homes, so we're good. I was confused for a moment. Oh my god, I'm so powerful that it's hard to kill myself. Kanji, fucking die, dude. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, no! It's too hard to kill myself. Come on, just kill the main character. Oh, wait, if I'm gonna kill the main character, I gotta switch off from Yoshisune because I have Endure. What does that do? Is that just block shit? Just a move where it blocks it? 
this gives us enough time to talk about our sponsor. <laughs> uh, Blade Shadow Legends. The hottest MMO out there. On your phone. Oh wait, I didn't have your- Oh my god, muscle memory just fucked me over royally. You know, I should have realized I didn't have Yoshitsune equipped because, uh... Because I was getting hit by physical. There you go, Teddy, you're dead now. Switch back to Alice. Let me get my ass handed to me. Oh wait, no, I... There we go. You're not out yet. So oh! Get up. I hate you. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Nullifies what? What did nullify? Did nullify her stats? Damn it. I'm too fucking powerful that it's hard to kill myself. There we go. Oof. <laughs> uh. Damn it. Skip it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Retry from the start of the floor? Yes, I will. Thank you. Now let's go home better fuck it. Wait a minute, I just realized something. She took away all my fucking items, right? Oh my god. I hate this. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this fucking game now. Secret branch escape. Oh wait, no, here we go. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, I would've lost my fucking mind. Woo! What's going on? There's something wrong with this place. Our methods don't work. Yeah, I know. All I know is fucking Yosuke, get your beautiful ass over here. Kanji can't do shit, but look pretty. Uh, Yukiko. Replace Teddy. Thank you. Oh my god. I wish I had, um... Pay no mind to the 100% compendium. I, I really just need to grab something from here, honestly. Uh, Maruku, Mater. Yeah, okay. He's an Agi. You got it for me, buddy. You got it for me, buddy. You can do it. Wait, do you have Gardine on you? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What do you have on you, Izanagi? Did I give you another. Wait. My bad. I gotta go to my personas. Uh, Izanagi, buddy, what do you got? God's hand, Mazio, Mazio Dine. Actually, you know what? Skill carded. I got skill cards. It's not that hard of a fight. It's just fucking bullshit. <laughs> Magic. Uh, Maragi Dine. Come on, I gotta have Agi Dine or something. Are you serious? That's the only, like, tier 3 one I have? No fucking way. Fulu Gar, okay, Zeodyne, but I don't have like a nullification, like a leg break. If I did, make my life easier. There we go. Alrighty. Ugh. Not skill, my bad. Uh, items. Where is it? Red wall. Hmm, that's cool. There you go, buddy. All right. <laughs> Items, I have snuff souls, so... Wait, chewing souls. There we go, snuff souls. All right. Let's go kick Marie's teeth in. Um, memories of meeting. Like, Jesus. Oh, wait. Sorry, before I go in. Forgot. What are you weak to again, Yosuke? You're weak to electricity, so... And then Yukiko... 
We have the white one. What? Blue claw blows back breeze, useless armor, but resists one attacks. I mean, she seems to use fire a lot, so... I haven't really seen her use blizzard at all. And just in case, you know what, just in case, fucking... Uh, who's on my team again? Yosuke? Here's a win one, and then me. I'll put a win one on, too. I need to put a win one on because, uh, he's an Aggie's weak to win. So much for not wasting time. There's the alarm. Shit. I can do this. I can do this in the next 30 minutes. There she is! Marie Skip all this shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here to save you, whatever. Fucking God. I really royally- I knew I was gonna fuck it up somehow. I there we go. I just wish I didn't have to do this fucking first part over again, because it's really annoying. Her eyes look very sad. Oh yeah? Well be sad about this. Hiya! <laughs> See, Teddy's no longer my team. I mean, I didn't have anything to break I uh to like break her ice resistance, so there's really no need for that, and Yukiko is a better healer in my opinion, so and Yukiko also has fire, which I can break. Yeah, but Teddy I took Teddy out back. <laughs> Shot that man. Okay, I thought I was using my Garudine for a moment. I was like, what the fuck? All right, there we go. I just want to make sure I go into the next fight with with a good amount of health. So, salvation. Oh, I didn't give them any of the stones. Ah, oh, shit. I knew I forgot something. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit of an annoyance, but whatever. I can still do it. Rize, I don't need your help. <laughs> this sucks. There we go. I mean, for the most part, I barely use Teddy like on my own playthroughs at all. Huh. I was really only using him because, you know, I want to show him off in the game what he can do. And honestly, I knew Kamui Miracle was going to fuck me over at one point. I'm not that mad about it, actually. <laughs> I knew, like, I did it. I did it knowing full well that there was a chance I was going to get fucked over. But sometimes you got to do it for the fun of it, right? You know, you gotta, you can't make everything boring and perfect. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. All right, we got it this time, though. All right, shut up. Stop talking. Oh, nice dodge, Yuki. All right, gonna open up with Monteru. Uh, you're gonna mind charge your shit. You're gonna windbreaker, and you—you you don't have mind charge. I never. I felt like at some point she was able to learn mind charge. I might be crazy. Maybe that was in the original game. Firebreaker. Oh, you are dead to rights, bitch. 
<laughs> okay. Oh. I forgot I had it. Oh. Oh, you done fucked up. <laughs> Take it out, Nato. Damn! <laughs> Not so fucking strong now, huh? That shit hurts, don't it? Fucking Jesus. <laughs> Just nuke the shit out of her. Ugh. Mind charge it again. Oh, uh. oh my bad. Burning petals. Severe damage. Uh. This ain't right. <laughs> Absorb the fog that was her getting her ass whipped, Rize. That's what we call justice. <laughs> now, Toe, you ready? Her affinity didn't go back up, did it? Ah, oh, it did. I was about to nuke Nauto. <laughs> oh man. Time to scarlet. Persona. What are you doing for me? Charge us up? Defense? Okay. Just came out the gate with thousands of damage. <laughs> uh Oh, you, you said that line already. I just whipped your ass so hard that you forgot to do it earlier. Oh my god. Just gotta make sure... Oh, when she does that, her affinity goes back? Oh. Damn it. I still got a firebreaker, though. Nato's getting that, getting that fucking hit in one way or another. Whether you like it or not. Your defense is still down to... Oh, no. Oh. Oh no! You see this, Teddy? You see this? That's how you help! Did we do it? I think we more than did it. Oh, it'll say repel regardless. Really, I thought it changed when uh when when the uh resistance was down. Marie -chan! Marie -chan! Damn girl, you okay? What? Shut up, Teddy. How is she, Senpai? She okay? I think I killed her. She isn't moving. Damn, I wouldn't be moving after that too. No way. This can't be real. I mean, Yosuke, we did nuke her to hell. No, this can't be. We. I might have had a little bit too much justice. Emmy Chan, come on, you're such a sleepyhead. Uh, Persona Five fixes it though. Oh, that's okay. That's why. Sometimes, like, <laughs> sometimes you get spoiled by the future games. It's. Time to wake up, okay? Emmy chan No! This isn't happening! What did we do wrong? Emmy chan wake up! Don't die! 
Get off of me! Jesus. Marie John? Thank goodness she's alive! Oh! I. That's right. You okay, Marie? <laughs> I kinda. kinda went a little too crazy there. Thank you. Whoa. See, guys, just beat your girlfriend and she'll. <laughs> Long enough for a so moving hug? Shouldn't you let go now? Nope. Don't hold back either. I mean, really charge that backhand. I'm tired of moving. Enough with getting up. Good thing there's someone even I can hug. Hey! Here we go again. Why is it all our friends are like this? Maybe because I beat too much sense into her. Maybe changed a couple things in that brain of hers. You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with Risei-chan. Did you feel the earth move? Or was that just me watching these two? This isn't the time for stupid comments! What's going on? Don't tell me! Is this like in the movies where once the bad guy's defeated, his evil fortress self-destructs? I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. I don't need to be in this place to die anymore, so it's gonna disappear. Why the hell didn't you say that sooner? It's gonna take us with it! We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Just get to the exit! Hurry! <laughs> Whew. Reuse and Rize's commercial lines against her? Damn. I forgot how tiny the TV here is. I feel like this has happened before. Are these really your friends? They're all so weird. That's another thing they added to her character trait, right? It's like, even she can handle Rize. Isn't she the most perfect? It's your fault to begin with. Oh, shit. <laughs> TV! That was never a television. The hollow forest has vanished. Then what the fuck is it now, Marie? It looks like a broken television to me. Because there's no more reason for it to exist. We did it! So, how does it feel to have your fate changed? Well, it feels weird. After all, I'm alive. I'm surprised you're alive after that. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why we went all the way there and everything. Um, thank you for saving me. And I'm sorry. W what? Why are you looking at me like that? You... You just said sorry, didn't you? She did. Very politely. Huh? Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Huh? You... You stupid jerk! Fine, then! F forget it! I take it back! You know, this would, uh, that would make sense if, in her social link, she didn't already apologize to us multiple times before. But okay. Oh, well. Listen to me! What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? You don't get anything out of it. I don't understand you. Wrong. I get an ending out of it. I get a cutscene. Haha. <laughs> That's what friendship is. Really? To be honest, we were hesitant at first. Learning that you were from the other side was kind of confusing. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. If we blamed things on someone else and looked the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. That's all that counts. I don't understand you at all. <laughs> I did it for the achievement, duh. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. All of us want you to learn more about this world. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. Shut up, Rize. Valentine? Ah, oh, so you don't know what that is either. Huh. It's an awesome day when a girl gives chocolate to someone she holds dear. Oh, and I already reserved Senpai. Whatever. No cheating. Reservation canceled. Why, you... That was quick. Well, let him get to it. Hey! 
Hey, it's clear outside! You're right. I need to do all the laundry. What the fuck? My back is killing me. Hey, how about we get some grub? Sounds good. On you, of course. Oh, stop expecting me to buy you lunch all the time. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect to, hmm. to nuke the shit out of Marie like that. <laughs> You okay? Well, out here in the snow wearing a mini skirt? Damn girl, you crazy. When I gave my body up to the fog, I thought I heard a voice. Um, what did it say? Humans don't want to know the truth. What they truly desire is a peaceful world filled with fog. Something like that, anyway. Whose voice was that? I don't know. But it was familiar. I know, it sounded kind of like a robot. Humanoid robot, I preferably female humanoid Amino robot. Sigiri and the fog flowed into me. Wait. Maybe not. I felt like it was my voice. Maybe it's something I said long ago? Oh well. The fog is gone. I probably just misheard it. <laughs> Scared you, huh? No, you cock blocked me, dickhead. The weather's nice, there's snow all over. What more do we need? Oh, yeah. You ever been in a snowball fight, Marie-chan? Hmm. Hey, how are we gonna split the teams? Oh, what the? Hey, hey! I'm supposed to throw snow at him. Isn't that right? Perfect. Okay. I will bury him. Hold on. You have the eyes of a predator. The teams will be women versus men. Now begin. Oh, come on! Kanji, Teddy, what the hell, guys? Take this! Get him, Marie Chan! <laughs> Why are you only going after me? You enjoyed the snowball fight like a bunch of fucking babies. <laughs> Nah, snowball fights are actually pretty cool. <laughs> we kick their asses. Those guys can't match our supreme snowball skills. Well, I do feel a bit sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> Still, today's hero's gotta be Marie-chan. You go, snowball queen. <laughs> That's the wrong gender. It's heroine, not hero. Your complexion is amazing. <laughs> Yo, can you see anything? The steam's covering all the good stuff. Uh, hey, Kanji, up, up! Don't let me down now. Uh, Ted, you punk! No. I'm done hey, with this. I love how Marie Welcome was so back. white that I could barely see her skin. <laughs> They're like, oh, you look so beautiful. I'm like, that's not my brightness fucked up. That's just the game. Jesus, girl. Get some fucking sun on your skin. Damn. All right. Well, this is a perfect stopping point, right? Which kind of sucks, because I wish I can sit here and, you know, finish the game, because the rest shouldn't really take long, hopefully speaking, right? Um, but I actually do have to go. I have to grab my doggo, give him a bath, and then drive him 
40 minutes away and then get him ready for his appointment so that's gonna be it for tonight gotta say it was pretty fun though <laughs> you know what? a part of me was really hoping Teddy would fuck it up too a small part of me but then I was like nah that'll be too much <laughs> but I brought it back so that's fine um all right so for everyone who came and watched live thank you very much um uh next time we come back we're definitely going to finish this game but before before we do that make sure you guys head over to the fucking youtube channel right there the the uh, link is there on the screen right well not link but you know the that's the youtube channel right there and go to the community tab and vote for the next stream that we're going to do next playthrough we're going to do once persona 4 golden is um is done right now in the current lead it's kingdom hearts right so if you wanna if you wanna challenge that go ahead and go do that right uh, other than that the Pokemon marathon is still continuing on the channel of course right by the by the um you know by next week Pokemon red and blue will be done and we'll be moving on to the next video within the marathon and then uh, I'm still looking for what playthrough I'm going to be doing alongside Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Marathon, so, you know. And of course, the VODs are going to be going up when I have time to do so, but definitely once Persona 4 is done, I'm going to start throwing those VODs up on the channel so you guys can go and relive all that awesomeness. So, thank you so much for stopping by and watching live. It's fun to talk with you guys, hang out with you guys. If I do stream uh, before the next before the next scheduled stream, then it won't be Persona, but it'll be like a random game earlier today. Well, not earlier today, yesterday. Yesterday I played some Dead by Daylight, you know, uh, what's called it, Sadako came out for that game. You know, The Grudge, The Ring, Juan, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And she's actually pretty fun to play. I really liked her mechanics in that game, that's pretty cool. And, you know, but if I do stream, I will definitely uh, let you guys know on Twitter. Right, I'll put out a little notice there saying I'm streaming in 10 minutes or whatever, and it'll definitely be like a small stream for like an hour or two or something like that. And that's pretty much it for me. So, for those new to the channel here on Twitch, thank you for watching live. If you're watching the VODs, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, please follow. If you want to, you get some free emotes out of it. And, um... And, uh... I lost my train of thought. And if you want to subscribe, you can do that helps out it'll probably you know once i get enough subscribers i can probably fucking stream a little bit more and then what's the other thing that's pretty much it for twitch right yeah that's it for twitch um and on youtube if you're watching this subscribe click the bell if you like it click the like button and then follow me on twitter that's pretty much everything so once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video stay happy Stay healthy and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.